It is Friday. This is the EST Hangout presented by Matza Clamato a Caesar. Available in both original variety 12 packs, a great pack size for entertaining and hanging out with friends. Uh, Matt Awanek with you here. Tom Gazzola with us uh, two times this week. Yeah. Nice. Hey, it's a six game home. No, I know. It's, 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 I just, it's been a while. Like, I'm yeah. eating my oh, gotcha. Oh, oh, right to me. Just. Because you should be okay. eating during the show. We got EST glue guy, Jay Milne. <laughs> and breakfast. joining us for the first time on The Hangout, uh, formerly of CTV and Global, now with the government. Uh, he would have been fine a little out there. He didn't have oh, to do that. Okay, Dan Grummet joins us. Voice, you know, like, like, I'll just, just put my down here. You're going to want to wipe down this mic could, when I'm done with it. Yeah, no, he's, <laughs> I know. I like the... Uh, you caring about the audio, Jay, and I appreciate that. I'm just here to facilitate you. I'm the glue guy. Thank you for the coffee today. Dan, <laughs> welcome. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun one. You want, like, why are you still eating this cookie? You've been eating it's a cookie very good cookie. Since I got here. Yeah, I no, think, you have I been think, eating it for a while. I think Mary, and, this is my second one. I think Mary brought them in. No, the, is that in the bag? Yeah. That was from Andrea. Andrea did. Yes. Andrea, these cookies are phenomenal. Thank you. <laughs> I've eaten two of them this morning, and they've been delicious. And I'm assuming nutritious, so thank you. Like, the assortment of food that is sitting out there on a reception area. The other stuff is from Damon Bunting. Oh, Damon brought that in. Yeah, from yesterday. Oh, that's why I, okay. Those are from Sherwood Park Bakery. That's Some why. Italian bakery or something? No, those are Sherwood Park Bakery. Those are off of Y Road and Sherwood Park. I've talked about this bakery on the show before. It's legendary. The donuts there are phenomenal. And I came in here and I'm like... What the? A, who's doing my job? <laughs> and B, why are there donuts from Sherd Park Bakery? That makes a lot of sense now, Maddie. You guys have a lot of pastries. A lot of pastries. There's, There's been a, pastries a around lot here. of pastries that have been What's dropped off for the last you're, few months. You're leaving with like two dozen pastries, <laughs> oh, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Gager carried took a bunch home yesterday. Yeah, he does. And that. then uh, Jasmine brought samosas in and stuff. And so. oh. Really? So we have a couple more of those in the fridge. Oh, yes, like thank those. God. Yeah. I'm going to hit yeah, that. Hey, how about Jasmine so. just shredding me yesterday? Let's go there. So sure. Feels like you need to talk about something. Yeah. She came at problems. your... At, well, she started with fashion, but it wasn't your fashion. Um, Why would she come after my fashion? Look at me. Look at this fit today. Green I didn't shirt, say anything. Matching, just shoes. Shoes. matching shoes. Was that, oh, that wasn't the kid's answer. on fire today. Yeah. That's actually a really good outfit. It is. The sh like, even the socks are matching everything, too. And they're thermal if it gets cold. We're just happy he's wearing socks. Where do you get clothes? You know? Uh, hard. I find it's difficult to... These are LaVis jeans. <laughs> Have you heard of them? No. LaVis. <laughs> Why is, in San Francisco why do you have, in 18, like, oh, wait, they have four. Pair, yeah. Why do you have thermal socks on? They're from Uniqlo, like, how, by the way. How cold do you think it's going to get? <laughs> Uniqlo's great. I went yeah, Uniqlo's together. all right. It is awesome. Uniqlo $10 is a hidden gem. If you need t-shirts, thermal gear, uh, like awesome t-shirts, Uniqlo is like a hidden gem. Before it came to Edmonton or even Canada, that was our thing. On the road, we would stop at Uniqlo because it was like, hey, Great deals, good quality, and if you need like essentials or like some nice stuff here and there, go to Uniqlo. And if you're uh, look like look trying to look generic, like super generic, yeah, it's like, deliberate. Blend in, yeah, uh, that's the place to go. It is deliberately no generic. No, nope. you know, just solids. Yep. So again, why thermal socks? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I like hey, how cold do you think it's getting in this office? Or well, you, like that? Your I, office gets like extremely hot. Or extremely cold, yes. and then this. But you're studio, not in my office. I know I don't go in. But this studio is warm by the time we finish the two hours. I, I don't know, man. It's I, it's winter. It's a mind mindset thing okay. too. It's winter, but it's nice out, and I'm like, I should be wearing thermal socks. Okay, keep the feet warm. I was gonna wear thin socks, and I actually changed at the last second to something a little. Something between thermal and you didn't and go for like, like a, this full a basic heated socks, socks that have batteries yeah. in them no. and like <laughs> heat your feet up ready to go for today. No, that would have been a bit much, I think. I like thermal socks, puke. Yeah. It, oh, these aren't God. like these aren't like the what, well, what's wrong with thermal? The, like, like, why the, are you so offended by thermal socks? Yeah, what's going on here, Jay? I don't know. Maybe I, we need I, to talk I, about this. Do I you run, not want I run feet? hot. I run hot. Like, okay, who in the right? I don't. You really could wear thermal socks like for the day 
Wouldn't you get super? Oh no, I I only wear socks like when I go home. It's just normal socks, or in the summer, or when it's wait, actually wait, by wait, April, wait, no wait, socks. Wait, wait, wait. You wear socks at home? No, I try so not to. You just said you did. I do. I'm trying to describe you wear the socks scenario. Around your house? Yeah. Ugh. God, I do too. I only the only time I don't wear socks around the house is in the Twitter summer pole. because yeah. <laughs> I'm always wearing flip flops and stuff, so I never wear socks in general. And so I'm always in bare feet, basically. But in like the winter, socks. my socks can, come off when I'm gonna go to bed. Can I tell you a smart wool like sympathy story? Yeah. From when I was reporting. Yes. So the thing about reporting is you'd wake up and you didn't know what you were gonna have to do that day. Yeah. And so if it was minus forty out, I could be you know maybe a barn collapsed on like a bunch of cattle, and I'd have to be in a farmer's field for eight hours. Yeah, because Grummy, you were like very versatile. You could do anything. Like, maybe. Yeah. 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 But, like and so my wardrobe had to be had to be versatile. Right. So I'd put like smart wool pants and upper garment on, parka, and you go to work, and then you get told you gotta go cover a court case. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in the courtroom in smart wool, sweating, just like you're on the witness the stand. Yeah, and uh, so it was hard to plan. Yeah, I would imagine. So you know, if you have a choice, I guess that's a way to go through. They're okay. Off. Like again, the Uniqlo is. I highly recommend. If it's good for Roger good. Federer, it's good for me. It's good for Roger Federer, and he's a Swiss angel, so it's all good. So, Jay, you go home and take socks off right away. Socks off, pants off. In the That's winter? always every day. As one does. Yeah. What does your Shorts. wife say? Okay. She just accepts What this. do you think she says? You got to have slippers. Oh, she says, hello. <laughs> hello, honey. <laughs> honey. Uh, no. That, so just bare feet in the house at bare all times. Bare feet. Saw uh, shoe or sorry shorts, and generally uh, a nice comfortable hoodie. You see, you emit heat from the top of your body, right? That's if you really want to be thermal, you should wear a toque. If you want to stay warm, no. it, the no. socks thing is just. Oh, when I go to a sporting event true. that's really cold, like I went to a Bears game this year, the, I didn't have my feet done well, and I that's where I get cold. Yeah, that's well, you're where wearing I lose improper it. footwear. Well, I was back to the next day. I went to the Heritage Classic and I did it better, and I was fine. Yeah. So, I to me, it starts and ends with the feet. If my feet could stay warm, I'm good. Yeah, I, I, I can understand that. I just don't. I don't know. It's maybe just a me thing, but I don't have a problem with keeping my feet at temperature. Like I, you're I, lucky. Are your floors really clean at home? Yeah, see, because like then you're you got crumb, you're walking around the kitchen, you got crumbs stuck to your foot. Oh yeah. no, 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 no! We've got three daughters. We vacuum two or three times. We the royal we, uh, hi April, uh, vacuums a lot. So you there's have to, it, yeah, it's 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 okay. on. It's full time. That, that vacuum never gets maybe. unplugged. You have the Roomba going like every day. If you oh no, Roomba. no Roomba. Room, we got a built in. Damn. They used to say, <laughs> I think yeah, I think that was a feature in like the nineties. <laughs> yeah, like my we got central one. vac. <laughs> oh, central vac was great. <laughs> There's pipes in behind all the walls, and, like a, a, and it doesn't nothing. nothing you're there. back there. You're like Sophia. What is this? <laughs> yeah. I we, don't. know. We were just uh, doing some some scouting for for Santa Claus. Oh, Dusty says a little closer. Oh, okay. Gotta listen to the boss. Gotta listen to the boss. Oh, Should listen to me. Snap. <laughs> We were just doing some scouting for Santa the other day at a at a store, uh, and we saw we went by the the section that had all of those handheld, um, like Dyson. Dyson's and, look and, amazing, yeah, and then great. what accent is the guy from the Dy- Dyson commercial? It's like that's what Dutch? like Liechtenstein. Yeah, maybe. I'm like I believe this man, and I'm gonna buy a Dyson. <laughs> I trust him. <laughs> yes. Are we talking He's vacuums two days in a row here? We were talking vacuums on the show yesterday. Well, well Jay's explaining the, the EST hangover is now turning into the vacuum. Like <laughs> I, uh, the daily vacuum update on the EST hangover. I said to my wife, yeah. I said, "Man, like I know you know we got that fancy built in, yeah. you know that uh, comes with the house. You hey, know, no oh, big hey, deal. All right, but wouldn't it be great just to unhook this thing from the wall and just and you're done? You know, you better. don't have to put away the. Yeah, I mean that would be, I guess, a little bit." Uh, extreme given that we have the fancy built in but it would be so convenient especially because we have a couple dogs that like to you know be in and out and the you know it's just they do that they do that you know they they do that they do but it it would be nice to have just a handheld option we should have both well i think i think that would be excess 
but Man. I'm in favor of it. How about that for a Christmas gift for your wife instead of a nice new Dyson vacuum? <laughs> or for the, for the girls. A 60 foot hose for, the, for, <laughs> for, the the, uh, for the central vacuum. I, uh, a hose <laughs> extension. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if you heard Gager yesterday on the Hangout, but he was explaining about his how his wife has a birthday Sunday. on the 17th and then Christmas is thereafter. And oh, double geez. whammy. He, I think, made the made the mistake of buying her um, lifting cream once and so he was in Europe yeah. and he bought a cream but he didn't know what it like meant right and like on it and it was a lifting cream that he lifting. bought his wife yeah so this was like even a few years ago too you're married yes what do you think the optics would be of buying your wife a vacuum cleaner for Christmas poor <laughs> I agree I think it's like that's just a, what that's if she just something you for it home. though well like, if yeah. she's sitting there like, you want to know something? This dice would be good. Let's get it for Christmas. Like, get it for me for Christmas. Do you still get that no, for Christmas? Or do you bait. still know? That's, like a, that's like a team gift, maybe. Yeah, that's like, like oh, you, you know what? That'd be, what a, that'd be a gift also, from the daughters. Yeah, there you go. Maybe that's it. <laughs> Maybe that's how I can play this because I, I really this. want one because I think they're cool. Dysons look amazing. They do. What? They make they, everything now. They it's work. like alien they engineering. They make headphones. No, they don't. What? They do. Good. Dyson they can. Makes Dyson makes headphones. I saw a commercial. The, like the Dysons are getting out of control. They should have stayed in their lane. When you're from Liechtenstein and you have an accent like that, and you're telling a guy like me who has nothing or knows nothing about like maintaining a home or cleaning it, and <laughs> I'm buying in hook, line, or sinker, like you can make. Do you know how much Dyson headphones are going for? What? Oh, they actually. Okay, are. let's they just. Are they're, they're, they are a thing. They're probably not Dyson cheap. Zone noise canceling headphones. Dyson Canada. Holy. There's two of them. Those are as much as a vacuum. One's eight ninety nine. Come on. And the other's nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. So Come 900 on. Nine hundred and a thousand bucks for Dyson headphones. Get the, are you kidding me? They suck your ears. Yeah. They, <laughs> <laughs> they suck. My wife You're, just chimed in the, on the on the J yeah. chat, and she did say that I did get her a chainsaw. One day, one day. <laughs> That's not a lie. <laughs> does she still did she want it? Or did you want she cuts it? In, wood? She wanted it. She like this wasn't like Homer Simpson this got Marge not, the bowling ball. No, 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 no. You no. wanted the chainsaw and you got it for her. No, no, no. Okay, there, she's probably better with a chainsaw on her hands than I am. Really? Does she also own a Canyon Narrow? She's a <laughs> she's a she's a badass wow. chick, man. Yeah. Thank you for catching the Simpsons reference. <laughs> yeah. She, no, that, so, so I guess maybe a vacuum wouldn't be so bad. Pure Dyson audio with advanced noise cancellation, engineered for realistic, detailed audio, up to 50 hours of ANC, whatever that is, and different colors, an in-flight adapter kit, additional pair of filters, an Explorer case, all for 1000 bucks. Wow. $1,000. Like, what are bows right now? Like, what's the set of bows? Like, 500 these are a thousand? Bose headphones you could get. I'm looking at a couple for 250, 300. Or Beats by, this, are are Beats by Dre is still a thing? Garbage. Th ah, Dyson's taking over. Take that, Bose. Yeah. Like, what? I, uh, I don't think Beats by Dre are the greatest. Are they, like, I don't think they're considered in terms of audio quality and stuff. Okay. Like, I think they're stylish. Yeah. You wear them for the style, for the look. A look at me. I've got Beats by Dre. Like, what are the guys but wearing the sidelines? But you're not listening now? to, like, the best quality right like if that's the dyson now apparently that this is insane You're taking over like this is insane a thousand dollars for headphones by dyson so what's next i don't know the dyson a vehicle chainsaw? dyson electric dyson cars. chainsaw yeah. oh yeah well Except how are they gonna usurp steel steel is the way to go that's what i got april did you <laughs> of course you I'm went steel penny packer when i <laughs> when i sold hardware at sears that was the <laughs> top end stuff Oh, Steel. Oh, actually, yeah. actually, Please. I think I doubled down and got her a blower too. <laughs> I used to sell furniture at Leon's. Oh yeah, yeah you used to sell furniture. Day. Yeah, that's, you that's my job. Store. What really? That's what I do. Yvonne's oh, furniture. Wait, yeah, Jeez, two I locations know. in Edmonton. If things go south in my current career, can I apply? Damn right, you can buy it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> things are going really well. <laughs> yeah. Come on board. We got lots of room for you. All right. Yeah, what, I was what, on the opening of Saskatoon Leon's back in like 07. Yeah. Do you know for my broadcast career? Do you know what ABC? Job, actually. What did you but do? But not for being late. I had a late problem. That's BS. I, thought, I, I, I also thought it was garbage. I, I thought it was a conspiracy. 
against at me. Leon's? At, at Leon's, yeah. How is it a conspiracy? I'm very intrigued well, by this part. Well, a lot part. of people were late. <laughs> like, because there's a time. Well, I, I feel like... <laughs> the clock in the front desk is 10 minutes ahead. Yeah. Yeah. You have to, like, scan God. in. Like, I was yeah. at a time in my life where I was living with buddies. And, and yeah. So, you know how that goes, right? Yeah. Like, getting up for, like, a, a shift was, was difficult at that point. The store opens at 10. Yeah, I still found that troublesome <laughs> for some reason. But it was open on weekends, too. Sure, at but, 10. Uh, yeah, I think I I feel like it was because I was like um, the manager got fired, and I and I was like I was I liked the manager, the manager got fired for being on his phone too much. Let that sink in now. What is going on? Or like or Leon's as this they was, like to so call this themselves. was like yeah like this is yeah. like 16, 17 years ago now. But so what are you doing on your phone at that time though? I don't know. Because right? you're not what texting. What could you do? Yeah. yeah, like you're playing Snake. I don't remember. <laughs> there was a weird yeah. one day he was gone. Snake. We're like well, you know, why you can't get fired like. Oh, he's on his phone all the time. Like, well, it was probably that QWERTY texting because it took so long. Yeah, that was maybe. weird. That was weird. But yeah. I was like, you know what? I, I I would like to maybe apply for the manager <laughs> job. And at that moment, it all changed. Then they, like the first day I was late after that, because I was late all the time. Yeah. Then they were like, hey, Dan, you can't be late. And I was like, okay. And then they was immediately late again. <laughs> and they were like, that's it. And I You're was like, done. Yeah. I was pretty, I thought I was, I was like one of their top salespeople still, but... That didn't matter. Oh, that's, that's, a tough, that's a tough gig. It's commission only. No. Yeah. It was, I can never do that. It was Ooh. crazy. So you could go there and like stand around for 12 Only the hours. real ones can, Maddie. Oh, I respect the people that can. At if Sears, you're, I imagine that's how it's still I is. gave things. It is still how it is. I, like, wow. I, yeah. If you were nice to me or something, I screwed over Sears so much. I have no problem <laughs> saying that. Like, I gave discounts. I gave deals. I had no problem. If you were rude to me, then I went by the book. Like full to the book, and what always hate me is the like they'd ask for a manager, you'd go to a manager, and the manager would always give in. I was like, "What are you doing? Like, there's the rules for a reason. Follow the rules." Well, that's why Sears is out of business. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn right. But not in Baja, Mexico. What where I was two weeks ago? Uh, you know where, like Cabo San Lucas? Yeah. The capital of that state of Mexico, Baja California, sir, is La Paz. We rented a car and we drove up there. We're walking around La Paz. I look up and I see this department store like building, Sears, open, Damn. thriving oh, in La Paz, Mexico. That makes me so happy. That warms my heart. Yeah. That's so, crazy. I know. It was I took a picture of it. Wow. I love Sears. Like I actually really? did enjoy it. It was a great store to go to. Which one? Kingsway? You yeah, it was Kingsway. Kingsway? Yeah. Like as a kid, you could there was a toy section, there was the things Sears to do. Wish like, book all of it. Was, the wish book was, wish book was the good. best the part of the yeah. start of new school year. That was it would that, come out in September. Living, you were living you would at that. You would go through it all. Yeah. Uh look at that. Those He's, catalogs were awesome. That's I would, look, I would look at like uh jer see if they would have jerseys or like sports memorabilia. And I would be like, Oh yes. I'd be like, Mom, I think this is gonna be Want this uh, jacket for my birthday, or something like that? Okay. What well. was their main brand? Uh, for Craft like, it was well, Craftsman had like their own. Um, because Craftsman was their hardware brand. It was like um clothing brand. I don't remember a clothing brand. Know. There was like yeah, they had their own like, you know, their own appliances, own appliances. Uh, Kenmore. Kenmore, Kenmore, Kenmore. That's what it was. Kenmore. Kenmore. That's yeah. Sears exclusive. Kenmore. That was. Yeah. So I didn't go in to inspect oh. whether or not they still sell Kenmore. I should have really. No, and then uh, Craftsman's now Lowe's. I think. No, Craftsman's always Canadian Tire. Is it Canadian Tire? Yes. Sir. Yeah. And I thought it was Craftsman Lowe's. has a lifetime warranty. Okay. Did you know that yeah, if you have a ratchet things. from Craftsman, and let's say the the bearings blow up. You yeah. take it back, they'll give you a new one. Depends on what it is, and things have changed. Depends who you well. talk to. Well, that's, and how you talk to them. So apparently. we at Sears, somebody once tried uh, the cordless drills had a two year warranty. Eventually, yeah. somebody bought had brought in this thing that must have been from like the seventies, and like a lifetime warranty. We're like, well, no, it's not. We don't know that. Like you have to prove that, and then they got upset and. That we didn't give them lifetime warranty on it because now, like oh there was like the God. policies, you need the proof of it. You can't just come in with a drill and I'll give you one. So if you you want to keep something that proves that it's lifetime warranty, it's if you just, buy anything nowadays, like, uh, screwdrivers still lifetime warranty on screwdrivers. You're right, like the smaller all handles, all of that. Like that breaks, you can go, you can get that changed. But like the bigger stuff, no. But they, I think they used to be. Like, come on, there's got to be like a statute of limitations on. Lifetime warranty. When you hear lifetime warranty, it's not a lifetime warranty. Well, if they say it's a lifetime warranty, it's a lifetime warranty. I know this is you being well, a stickler for the no, rules, but like, 
if I go buy something, like if I'm spending five hundred dollars on a drill or three hundred, I don't yeah. can't remember. Okay, and it says it's got a lifetime warranty, and I buy it because I got a lifetime warranty with it. Then I want the lifetime warranty with it. I understand that thorough rationale, but if you buy a hammer and you swing it over the course of three decades, you know, one hundred and fifty thousand times, and then the handle breaks, like that's wear and tear. I'm I'm going, man. I got full use and then some out of this hammer. I'm going to go buy a new one. Probably has like a nice ergonomic grip on it. And I'm not going to go to Sears and be like, hey, the handle broke. I bought it in 1982. Oh, that's stuff you'd, you'd get changed. There's no problem with that. <laughs> I'm just using that as an example. No, no, but I, but like that is like legit. You buy it, like no one will care at that point if it's the smaller stuff. You bring in a screwdriver that was 20 years old and it breaks, everyone's going to be cool with it. I'm like, yeah, here's the new one. Oh. Have it. What There's a live poll on the nice. chat. Do you wear socks at home? We did one <laughs> did that. That, <laughs> that would have been uh, dusty, dusty. Dusty, that dusty or Eric. What, what are we at? 65% in favor of... No socks? Or yes, socks. Yes. 66. I, I accidentally voted yes. Yeah, Rona has 60% craftsman. no? Rona has craftsman. Which is and, and yeah, my buddy Sickler texted in and he said that uh, it's Mastercraft. Yes. Master it's Canadian Craft. Tire. Okay. Yeah. My apologies. Don't rip my head off. I'm sensitive. and I don't think Mastercraft does Mastercraft a lifetime warranty. I don't. I don't know about Mastercraft. Oh, that reminds me, my buddy Ken. If you're watching or listening, because I know you're not working, uh, I want my air compressor back. You guys got to be careful with the uh, <clears throat> lifetime warranty stuff. Or when people tell you about warranty, I uh, had a I have a Patagonia sweater. They're yeah, nice sweaters, right? Those are nice. Yeah, it's yeah. great. And uh, but I noticed like after maybe one or two years, it was like kind of you know how. Have fabric can start to pill. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like, like get you get a defuzzer. And so, and I, got I, one. I think it was my brother in law that looked at it. He's like, "Oh, geez, yeah, your sweater's really pilling there. Well, that's that's a defect." I was like, "Is it? Like, I wear this sweater all the time. Like, yeah. probably it's just wear like worn out." They're like, yeah. "Oh no, they'll." You go down like, "Where'd you buy it?" I was like, "I bought it at Mech." They're like, "Go down there. They'll they'll take it back, right? Like, no problem." So I'm like, I don't know. I take it into Mech. I'm, I set the sweater on the counter, and it just looks like a normal worn yeah. sweater. And they're like, I'm like, hey, yeah. So this sweater started to started to pill. Yeah. They're like, when'd you buy it? I was like, I don't know, two, three years ago. They're like, yeah, well, I don't know what you expect. <laughs> you this know? is Patagonia. Well, this is Mac. <laughs> no, but that was that the brand Pat Patagonia brand. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, well, I heard that you know Patagonia will will take back certain things. Uh, and he's like, yeah, maybe, but uh, like you wore it. And, yeah. And I kind of had to just sort of oh, okay. So what's the lifetime warranty? I don't know what it is. Like, I think it's for like a defect, like maybe a zipper or like if it rips. I, I don't know. Let's just, but just, it, let's just, just say, say, if it rips, they might sit there like, oh, you wore it, it ripped. So maybe like, I ran into a wall of a customer service guy, right? Like sometimes, maybe, maybe I didn't get upset enough. Or that me. company is just lying with their lifetime warranty. Or they put that is, lifetime warranty and there's no real lifetime warranty. Or that is a myth that people are passing around right. about Patagonia. Get a defuzzer. I get did. it, and then those things are amazing. They're game changers. I think that's what he told yeah. me to yeah. do. Yeah, it's a, and it changes. It's like a game changer. Get a defuzzer. Yeah, it's like fifteen bucks. It's amazing. Um, I gotta quickly step up for a quick second, but uh, oh, okay. I would. I don't know. It's keep things that say lifetime warranty goes a long way. Let's just establish that there probably is not lifetime warranties yeah. for certain things. There are. You can go to Costco. The Craftsman screwdriver, like that stuff, is legit lifetime warranty. Yeah, they'll they'll replace it. Go to if you broke Costco's if you break crazy. one right now, go to Lowe's. They'll at replace Costco. it. For you. you worked at Costco. I worked at Costco. He was the tires like, in the four years. Service? No, no, <laughs> I can't handle people. Tommy slinging tires. <laughs> yeah, I was a tire sales and here. installations uh, supervisor at like twenty years old. <laughs> How'd they let That's you go? Right. I th I thought that once you were into the Costco cult, they don't really let you out of their grapple. Mm. There are those who are lifers and they do get paid well, especially when you get into management. I think management. they do get paid. Well, they, yeah, do, they do because they're treated pretty good. They're non-union. Okay. Or last I checked, well, last I checked, they're non-union. Maybe that's changed since, but uh, the pay was good out of the gate, and then like the the salary bumps every year were were decent. You got extra pay on Sundays. I don't know if that's still a thing. I think it was like three bucks more per hour on Sundays, and it's then probably like, thirteen bucks more now. Yeah. Well, yeah, because what minimum wage is fifteen bucks now? I think so. Yeah, I think when I started there, it was like I started at like eleven bucks, and mm -hmm. then by like my second year, I was already at like sixteen, and then that'd be a good job. It was one. It was fine. Job. Like, listen, there's obviously some things about it that aren't great. You know, retail can be difficult, but we had a thing. 
where, and I don't know if it's still like this. I know maybe electronics, it's a little bit different now, but essentially there was no saying no to returns. As long as you had a receipt, that checks they out. would take yeah. it back. Because I remember seeing, I remember You don't like, even need a receipt. Like, no, well, well they think, can look up your yeah, receipts too maybe they could via have, your membership. Well, everything's via membership, right? Yeah, so they should. They be can able see to your your order and purchase history. Like I remember, there were times before I got to the tire shop. So my first year, I had to work the front end, which was the cashier and go grab carts and stuff like that. Um, I remember there was times where it would be quiet and they'd be like, "All right, take stuff back to RTV or go backs. Go backs are the stuff that people don't want at the till, and they just pile it up. And there'd be like six carts every day of go backs." which was fun because you could just walk around and put crap back, right? And I remember I had to take something to RTV, which is return to vendor, and they had a, a cage in the back where we had staff that would sort what's going where, what's just garbage. And uh, I saw a half-eaten watermelon <laughs> no. in this cart. Yeah. And someone had returned it because they bought it the day before. They didn't like it, thought it wasn't ripe enough, and they brought it and back. They got their $3 they back. They got their 3 bucks back. And that was wow. sitting in the cart? In the cart. <laughs> Jeez. That's low. I yeah. returned a box of, like, Raisin Bran. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> well, I was with something else, I think, and I was like, I don't want this. And it was, it's more of a principle at that point. That is. Was, yes, thank you. Like, like, you I, go to, you go to a grocery store, and you get, you know those prepackaged, like, Caesar salads? Yeah. Where all you got to yeah. do is put the fixing in and shake it up. Yeah. yeah, you open one of them up, and it's like turned. The lettuce oh, is not yeah. like. What do you do? Do you, you take it back? Right to you bring it back. I know, but then it, I've never, I've never, I've never it brought back produce before. I've never. Our but broccoli you, incident at the client uh, mixer was that was. We should have brought that back. That one, yeah. So you we should. had a little client mixer in the first two months of this, yeah. and bunch of clients here. Pizza. Dusty figured he'd bring a veggie tray <laughs> for this. And throughout right. the whole night, as one does, absolutely, as one I, does, you bring a throughout the whole tray. night. There was a like stink that was going through. Oh yeah, that smelt like someone dropped went, ass. Like they full. It was bad. It was awful. And no one, well, at least I couldn't figure out what it was for the longest time. And it just lingered the just whole night. Just think of how many awkward yeah. conversations yes. there were. Standing I was standing right, right here, yeah, with the pro am sports guys. And we're shooting the, you know what, and yeah. we're talking about cards and Washington Redskins and Commanders paraphernalia. Big, big commies guy over big here. Big commies guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, That's, I don't know what that I've says. I've never met but a commie, commie fan. <laughs> yeah, big time. <laughs> and uh, and I'm sitting here, and I'm like, God dang, one of these guys dropped ass bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, it was, and they think you did. And they think they, I did. Because yeah. that's what everyone's thinking. It was just yeah. like, I no, it was one, no one wanted to bring anything up. No one wanted it to say so anything. It was so awkward. And it, like, then the smell finally went away after like an hour. But it then, was at the height of I the stench. Did anyone eat it? I think Bunting no. and Eric were went back in the room and they opened it up slightly. Um, and then they realized it was that, so they closed it. It was, but horrid. the stink went through the whole room again. Yeah. It was that bad. Like you just <laughs> yeah. have to slide they, open and think and of do how that. many conversations were. Yes. And it was a mixer. It was yeah. a quiet mixer. Yes. <laughs> so then finally, Gager like Gager got rid it, of it. I didn't know what it was. Gager's like, I'm throwing this out. Yeah. Yes. And so we gra he grabbed it, walked it out. I took it and yeah. threw it out. Like we didn't even try to return it. I was. With we would have like evacuated Save On when we brought it back. Like, oh, like yeah. well, you we would have opened it up, and it would have been like, "This is gonna smell this whole place." You should just open it and like hit it in the chip aisle, <laughs> and said, <laughs> "You know, <laughs> screw you." That was an awful foul stench. That was bad. I, I was with Tara from BP, and they had their national sales guy in, uh, and we were talking, and um, and like we moved from like kind of this area to <laughs> right into the corner of where Eric sits at reception. And I'm like, oh boy. Did I you get a chance to explain it to anybody? Like, or was oh, it like, on the air. Yeah. Oh, okay. We've yeah, joked about it after. Yeah. And now in the end, it's just like the Broccoli moral. Gate. The moral of the story: Don't, don't buy veggies. Don't get that. <laughs> no, no, no. Like you, can, you can you can do a veggie tray, but stay away well, from the broccoli. Well, we're at Alley Cat for the launch party of um, the beer. They had a veggie tray, and we all looked. Hey, look! It does smell, and it was like this big thing for us because there was broccoli that didn't stink fresh? up the room. Yeah. Well, Dusty, it was fresh. Well, we're like, well, pra weird. they packaged it. Right. Something was wrong when they packaged it. But you know, when they left that night, they, you know, it came off out the door, right? Jesus. What is you, wrong? Were you able to talk? Did you talk to Jay there? Yeah, what's up with that guy? <laughs> Freaking reeked. I, I couldn't. And then I'm like, this is I go. The, this I, is the place we put money in. I think I talked to Dusty about it that night. I'm like, man, like I don't know what. And he's like, it was the broccoli. 
Yeah. Broccoli gate. I yeah. didn't know broccoli could smell like that. We should have sent out like a thank you card to everyone and be like, by the way, it was the broccoli <laughs> and way, everyone would yeah. be just at Which the PS. Which is the main point of the yeah. card. Yeah. 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 Or exactly. they'd be like, oh, how convenient. Sure it was. <laughs> it was that J guy. <laughs> yeah. Blame it on me. No. I think actually it probably would have been be- uh, blamed on Bell or Gager. Gage. I thought it was Gager, but Gager... Was handling thought it was everyone. the problem. Yeah. Everyone thought it was someone else. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, this Okay, this text comes in at the Paris Jewelers inbox. 780-218-9999. Fellas, I was doing some fundraising for a company startup. We pitched to the company that purchases all of Costco's returned items. In their head office in Vancouver was a lawnmower that was 25 years old. A guy had used it. For 25 years, and Costco took the return, gave him full price for it. It stands in their head office as a testament to Costco's return policy. It's insane, the stuff that gets brought back. I say round of clicks for that guy. (laughs) It brings me up where, like, I I kind of want to get into the Costco golf equipment because you could change clubs every year. You could just go return and get the new models. Costco kind of has taken on the the insurance model, right, where they're not – Assuming that everybody is a douchebag yes. and is going to do this all the time. Also, they most put. People aren't. No, no, no. Most people aren't. They but also put, I think, the stuff back on the manufacturers. They most, don't have to deal well, with it. Well, like Tommy said, there's a return to vendor <laughs> yeah, card. Yeah, return to vendor. And yeah. then there's a return to shelf card. Like a lot of that, like the fact that if you buy a mattress at Costco and you can bring it back the next year. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Somebody is sleeping on that mattress that you brought back. I Not don't even know. The next year only. They don't right? just throw them out. Or it goes back to the manufacturer, but the, the cost oh, guess is what on the manufacturer. It's not on Costco somehow. That's well, how it works. Sure, like, I think, think Costco's that... found a way to pass the buck on all that stuff where it doesn't impact like, them. Like lifetime warranties on mattresses is disgusting. Mm-hmm. Should be canceled. Is all, isn't it 25 year? On Used most? to be. Oh, now it's 10. To? Oh, now it's 10. That's old okay. Leon's or uh, Leon's. Yes. Used to be 25 now. years on a mattress. I was pre foam. Can you imagine keeping a mattress for 25 years? No. What's the issue with the lifetime warranty on a mattress? Disgusting. Why? Once it's out of the package, it should not. Okay, here's here's the problem. But I'm done with it. In like five years, I could bring it back and get a new mattress. with it? (laughs) I get a new mattress. But it's not going to end up anywhere. That is. It's not going to end up anywhere. Like you take the mattress. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Where do you think it ends up? You think they resell it? Yes. In the landfill, I hope. No. God, no. How All they, they do re- is they take it back. I know this for fact. Yeah, no, that's Sell what I'm trying to, to figure out. I want to learn this. They take all the f- the fabric covering yeah. off of it. The f- reuse all the interior foam, springs, everything, and rebuild a new mattress. So all oh, mattresses okay. are reused from old mattresses. Not all, but some. You may be sleeping on one. You don't know that. No, well, I bought my, it from your store. <laughs> my you sleep. may be sleeping on one. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! No, 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 no! I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I have <sighs> have have no have. You know, partake in, in this heinous crime that mattress uh, manufacturers, it's the manufacturers do with this. Absolutely. Do you think that they, they just, this. when you take that mattress back to Costco, do you think they just, oh, well, I guess it's two years old, didn't like it, it's too soft, let's throw it in the dump? Mm-mm. Well, I figured a, a way to, Depending on what happened to, to get rid of it. Well, I don't know what, what is a foam mattress? You, can you really, you know, salvage that? Well, yeah. I mean, every mattress has a cover on it. So you can just take the cover off and reuse the foam in some way or capacity. Like when my brothers and I were kids and growing up, the mattress that my parents slept on was covered in pee from my brothers and I, probably mostly my doing, and they chucked it. But my mom was like, when we threw that thing out, you You guys wet the bed. No, my mom's very mad at me right now, so I can't do her voice. But she said that I, I peed the bed the most out of the three of us as a child. When I would, I wouldn't sleep in my own bed, and I go, you know, you go into your mom yeah, and dad's yeah, room, yeah, yep. and I, they, she said I was the worst. And then my my brothers added to it, and she's like, that mattress needed to go as soon as you guys stopped coming into our room to sleep. Well, the mattress, I mean, that's what you should do, because after, well, aside from peeing on, well, it, there's not much you can do about that as a kid. <laughs> you know? It happens. Well, I went my it bed, happens. Yeah. But getting rid of a mattress, yeah, right. Like, they're not they're not designed to last, you know. Like our parents' mattresses were probably eight inches thick. Yeah. Now these mattresses these days are 16, 18 You need a ladder to get up to mine. You need special sheets to cover them. 
right? Especially on the 25th floor, I'm sure. You know, they, they, <laughs> oh, they, probably, oh, sorry, they yeah. probably make his bed for him. Oh, yeah. They you bring have the, that service in our building? They bring their own Dysons Send up to them the down. 25th floor. I wish. Yeah, I, yeah. I want this service. You got a pocket coil man still? Pocket coil believer? Pocket coil is a big thing. Yeah, it's always. I'm not a believer in pocket coil. I'm more of a Benel coil guy myself. Oh, of never, course. I've never of course. heard of that. Who, could, who, wouldn't, who could dispute that. that? Who wouldn't be one? If you're <laughs> not, I d- pity you. Uh, pocket coils are independent. They're too weak. They they fall apart. Benel coil is a is a mattress that is strung off of one wire, tip to top, tip to tail. So it's a much firmer, more unified mattress. I bet when you came in today for this hangout, you didn't think you'd learn about mattresses. <laughs> no, especially <laughs> since I thought I was an expert from coming from Leon's. You know, <laughs> uh, I've been in the game a while. It's been uh, since I was 12, really. But I wanted to ask you a question when you said Leon's. I, I want to see, I wanna see what, what kind of... We've had more responses positively... In regard to our <laughs> their sales and retail discussion, and one negative, which is incredible. So, Tom Gazzola, <laughs> J. Mill, Dan Grum, and Matt Awanek with you on the EST Hangout presented by Mott's Clamato Caesar. Do you know what ABC is? Always be closing. Yes! Anything. <clears throat> he nailed it! Anyone but, but I know Calgary. it from Glen Gary, Glen Ross, not, not Leon's. Well, th- if you're a salesperson, Glen Gary, Glen Ross should be on your. Oh, it's the, so great. The top tier of any sort of movies that you you like or you want to yes, learn from I have it on dvd we used to yes <laughs> yes yes so glenn gary glenn ross do you guys have you seen glenn gary glenn ross no this is not <laughs> no idea what you're talking not, about it what? is probably one of the most under I'll look i guess you watched movies but yeah it's not with exactly an famous. all-star cast yes big time you had uh pacino pacino uh Alan baldwin Arkin. Is in there? Yeah. I know he's not a household name, but... Uh, uh, who's Kevin, Kevin Spacey, Alan Arkin, uh, Jack Lemon, Jack Lemon, Jack Lemon, Jack Lemon, Jack Lemon. <laughs> I was guessing there. Honestly, and Walter don't know that Mattel. One. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love Walter uh, Mattel and Jack Lemon. <laughs> and, uh, did you guys say Ed Harris? Harris? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan, yes, Harris. Jonathan Harris. Price. Alec Baldwin comes in he and he gives his one. speech. He doesn't shoot anyone, does he? No, thank you. There's no, there's no guns on set. Soon. I still can't believe he was on SNL a few weeks ago. I know that's crazy, but he comes in and delivers a speech about sales, legendary about scene. brass balls. Yeah, you need brass balls to sell. Okay, to sell real estate. And he says, A B C A always B B C closing, and he gives away the sales prize, which is. First, uh, first prize is a Cadillac Eldorado. Nice. Second prize is a set of steak knives. Third prize is you're fired. Beautiful. It's great. We used to yeah. watch it before some of our sits. That's what the sales guys call it. You call it a sit. When you you're, to watch when it to fu- fire you up. Yeah, man. Wow. Oh, geez. Well, yeah, that would get me going. I would do the Wolf of Wall Street montage where they're going crazy in the. Well, he's not a coach. Oh, okay. <laughs> Totally different talk. I just, oh, I assume soon? those were the same. Sorry, I don't care. <laughs> oh, I'm out of that yeah, game. I don't. Yeah. You could bring up whatever you want. That, that's that's a, that wasn't a sports coach. So that's a play, right? Glen Gary, Glen Ross. It is David Mamet play. Yeah, it's a screenplay. And uh, but the Alex oh, sorry, Baldwin scene, the, the movie, the movie yeah. fam- famous, is not in the play. They literally added really. It for I did not know that. Movie. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Okay. So, yeah, you guys gotta so. check it out. I can lend you it on DVD. Can we uh, can we convert this DVD into a MP4? No. Oh, okay. I don't think so. I'm not interested. Do you not have a DVD player? No. Do you have like a PlayStation? Yeah. Does it not play DVDs? I thought it was Blu-ray by PS4. Well, don't they still play DVDs? I don't yeah, know. They do. They some do. I would assume they still. I think yeah. some of them are. Oh, well, then I guess I do. I have a PS5 okay. with a disc drive. I thought that that was important to get. I, I need to get fifty dollars extra for the disc drive. Like I thought I needed that for some reason. I need to buy That's a PS5. Because oh, have... my PS4 I sounds don't like a PS4. You Fortnite on a PS4? Yeah. Oh, Grummy, buddy. we should play. I'm getting good. Yeah, getting, let's oh, do well, it. Yeah, I'm getting I good. Still, I can't believe I still you, play that. You know who's really time. good? Who? Matt Cassian. Oh, yeah? He's very tactical when he plays Fortnite. I got to look up your Fortnite tracker stats. Really Take a, you're not going to be impressed. You're going to be like, eh. 
but <laughs> I'm happy with my performance lately. I but I, like the we, Blu-rays do play DVDs, or they're supposed to. I didn't know yeah. that. So I, I have they not. Just, they're not upscaling like to anything or anything like that. They, they, oh. they just the Blu-ray has the capability that if you put a Blu-ray in, it's going to play, play DVD. it at the high level, the high quality. So you should still be able to play DVDs. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I, I honestly don't know if I have any DVDs physically in my condo. I keep them out of sight, but they're like you used to display them, right? Like Proudly. A CD. Yeah, I still have some, but, but sitting kind of, there used to be a DVD case. I have them alphabetized in a kind of a downstairs wow. hidden room that really? I only show special visitors. Yeah, I've got like fifteen seasons of The Simpsons, bunch of seasons of South Park. I'll always have those. I, I don't need to wait for. I don't want Disney to pull them off of me or anything like that. I'm gonna have them all. I got all the buddy, uh, buddies movies collection. Buddies. Buddy. You know, Buddy the dog, Airbud, like Airbud, Air 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 oh, the like Christmas Bud, and Air yeah, Bud. we're big. There's a Bud football, fans. oh yeah, there's the basketball, there's a baseball. Well, there's now the collection where the buddies are buddies. So there's like the sporty Bud, <laughs> there's the chick Bud, there's the the male Bud, and then All there's right. like the the rapper Bud. Yeah, there was we a get real down trend with that. where they used like animals as the main athlete for a while there. I think there was like MVP. Yeah, most, most valuable. valuable yes. Yeah, MVP. <laughs> yeah. Great movement. No, I have never seen it. <laughs> uh, for your Patagonia, this comes in from Ryan. This is interesting. Patagonia Ironclad Guarantee. They will take used clothes and recycle the material. Come to Elements Outfitters in the Outlet Mall by the airport. We'll gladly give you store credit for that old Patagonia sweater. Holy, Boom. I'm from going Ryan. after this. Look at this. Boom. There you Even go. That's you what we do here at the Hangout. And I would literally, I would buy Bought the same together. sweater again. Like I would. Damn. But, uh, so the guy at Mech was just. Is Mech still helped? a thing? He was an yeah. ass. Mech's still around? Mech's that, around. Yeah. 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 Two Remember when that was here. the thing to have was a Mech, um, like that poofy jacket or vest? I like Mech. Mm. And I find that, that the, the people yeah. that shop at Mech are very hardcore into like outdoors, obviously, like trails cycling obviously and there's like a it's like a way of life because mm -hmm. i went there i bought like these awesome ear ear pocket or sacks that ear uh, <laughs> ear they're, sacks. <laughs> they're actually called like ear sacks, sacks and you clip them on so you don't wreck your hair uh, see i i got through a whole career in, without ever having a pair of those i don't know how I they're should've. awesome I was, yeah and uh and i'm like oh my god and like these people that are at mech or like they probably spend five days a week at Mac just perusing the new stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a whole way of life. Yeah, I, I respect to be it. Super outdoorsy when I'm there, right? Yeah, when I'm looking around, but like I can't climb anything. No, like, so people are going in there. They're going to Jasper and climbing. Yeah, you can climb that sales mountains. ladder at Leon's though. A B C baby. Maybe I will. A B C. But was Black. late. That so was can't. late. Could have, would have. Blacklisted. Yeah. Can't get hired there no. anymore. Yeah, could have been the manager still in Saskatoon. Oh, what a life it would have been. <laughs> It is. It would be. Great life. <laughs> well, I remember about that with, um, at the time. So it's 2007 Saskatchewan. I think the economy was just starting to kind of pick up there with potash and stuff. And they flew. It, it was the grand opening of the store. There had never been one in Saskatchewan. And the, they flew in four people from Calgary. So t 2007 Alberta money was, things were going well It was good well money. Here. It was a good time. Things were going well here. It's so a good when time. the Calgary salespeople came into Leon's back then, like they were brought in to kind of show us how it's done. Oh like, yeah, this is how it's done. Bring in the clothes. Titties. And so I remember after a few hours, you know, I think people were having lunch, and I'm like, "Hey, how, so how are you finding things so far?" They're like, "People here, are, people here don't want to buy. People here don't want to buy." I'm like, "You got to really sell them." I'm like, "Isn't that what we're supposed to do?" <laughs> like, well, in Calgary, they just come in and they point at what they want. And we just ring them up. I'm like, "Well, that sounds better." Yeah, but like that's not how it is here. So you got to hustle. Yeah, they didn't really like it. They didn't like that they had to work. But they're great sales reps, apparently. Yeah, they're the best. the four best. The four best in Calgary. I love that. Uh, You're looking at something very well, close. Oh, it looks like. Uh, we've, we've killed like 50 minutes talking about used mattresses, <laughs> all vacuums, closing, used. all yeah, that. Yeah, Dyson, 100%. Dyson headphones that are uh, evidently that are a thousand a bucks. I think we could all go for a lot longer with just retail yeah. stories. Like, carabiners at Mech. Carabiners, yes. <laughs> yeah. You used to have a carabiner on that oversized freaking clear water bottle that they sold. Remember those? Oh, yeah. I was. I don't think I've actually ever been into Mech. 
Ooh. What? I know. You have I like I think you'll never have right up your alley. I, I don't know. I've never yeah, actually gone I think, in. I would think you would like, be, that would be right up his pretentious. I like walking around and stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. But <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I appreciate like, that. I think that's <laughs> right in your <laughs> wheelhouse. No, I'm never pretentious, like, snuffy person. You would be the guy. Uh, you at are Mac their customer. On a Tuesday at three o'clock, there's the Burr District one. I drive by it all the time to grab my Starbucks. Or I use their parking lot to go to their Starbucks. No, 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 no. Matt wouldn't go to Mac to buy things. He'd go there to read. He'd oh, be one of you those guys. There? I don't know. Probably they probably have lots of. I could different see him being the guy that's there on a Tuesday at three o'clock, and people go up to him. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me about this? Uh, <laughs> right. These hiking poles, yeah. and Matt would be like, "Well, I don't work here," <laughs> but he looks like the yeah. guy that works there. I think you embody the Mac door. in mind, yeah. spirit, everything. Yeah. The flip side to that, that, actually, I would tell them. What to look for? Yes, he would. Yeah. <laughs> he would, yes. Yes. You would pretend to work. You would, well, then, you would. Hey, could you tell me about these? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it is, uh, uh, they'll uh, go uh, bring you up over there. Have fun. <laughs> it's a medium jacket. It's uh, one ninety nine. Yeah, sure. I'll help people. It's out. last year's model. <laughs> I'll gladly go into it. <laughs> you would. Hey, the I, last time I, I was could at BS through some sales. It was at. Uh, it was their downtown location. So the like the one, one on one twenty four or Brewery District. Oh, oh right. It's now like a gym. It's like in the Unity Square. Yeah, but like no, no he's thinking one one twenty fourth street. Yeah, he used to be like one one twenty fourth street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I think they moved to Brewery District, all that stuff, Unity Square, and everything. But yeah. you're talking about the one twenty fourth. I had to buy one of these bags. You know, when you're going on like a a real outdoors trip and you and you're in water and like you have to buy a sack that yeah. keeps everything dry. Yeah, yeah. I think the they call it a dry sack. Mentioned a lot here today. A lot of okay. sack talk. A lot of sack talk. <laughs> Are you uncomfortable with that? No, I'm good. Yeah, Just let's sack it up. It's not a Friday. I'm hang out. Brought to you by Mike Scalato Caesar. <laughs> no. Just. I almost died on that trip. No joke. Uh, like off a cliff? No. That's we, a different uh, type of sports. We went uh, we went on a canoe trip with me and my buddies um, down the North Saskatchewan. We started out by west of Rocky. I forget there's a there's a place that you go out there that you can start at. Like Nordig. Nordig. Yeah. Nailed it. And then uh, we started coming in. And my... The guy that was kind of the ringleader of all this, uh, he'd done this before. He he actually did summer work up there, so he worked with this place called Gila Adventures. So he had the in for us to get canoes and gear and life jackets for free. Oh, yeah, yeah. great. That stuff's expensive. And uh, so we dropped in and we, we camped overnight the first night, dropped in the next morning and we're having a great time. It's nice and... Smooth, easy going. Now, this was two years after the big floods in Calgary. So that river had changed oh. since the last time our ringleader, Robbie, had, had done this voyage. And we ended up uh, getting pinned against a overturned tree in the middle of the river. Pinned. I mean pinned. Like our canoe flipped riverside, so all the water was rushing into the hull of our canoe. All of our stuff went out the canoe, Ooh. gone, down river. And it was me and my brother-in-law. Remember the guy I was telling you, uh, last uh, hangout, the guy, he married, he married my sister? Yes. He used to be my best friend, now he married, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Weird. Yeah. He's yeah. not your best friend anymore. No, he's sister. my brother-in-law now. Okay. Changes yeah, everything. For sure. So we got pinned. I almost, I had to go under the canoe to get away and... The tree was there, and I had this stupid thing around my neck that protected my phone. Probably could have killed me at one point. The plastic case. The plastic case, yeah. yeah. But that bag worked. The sack. The sack worked. We found it downstream later. We were actually saved by a group of uh, YMCAers who had a satellite phone. Really? I'm not kidding. And I was like, I think what we had just given birth to one of our, like, it was newborn time, and I was really emotional, and I'm like... Just call a helicopter. I'll pay for it. Just get us out of here. So the sat phone we called Gila Adventures, and they came down the next day and saved us, literally. Damn. Wow. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. <laughs> Great trip. How long were you pinned against the, that log for? Probably, it seemed like five minutes, but it was probably five seconds. But I had to shuffle the gunnel of the canoe to get to the outside so I didn't go under and get pinned against the tree underwater and die a tragic death. But uh, yeah, it was great. I I Love would never ever experience. go on a canoe again. Have no get, canoes in this world. Yeah. Have you guys ever done the paddle down the North Saskatchewan in town here from like? Well, we've done for Ryan Myers' stag. Oh, yeah. We went from Devon 
down. We camped along the way too. I could well. maybe be coaxed into that, but none yeah. of this blech, whitewater stuff. And you so know, people are saved. We, I did. I've done it once, and I was with a couple a couple couples, and they each had their own canoe, and I was with my wife Sophia. One of the one of the canoes had a couple and their dog in it, and you know you're going down the river, and like it's busy, right? And like yeah. there are boats. Generally, I think the the you know the unwritten rule is if you're a motorboat and you're passing canoeists. Is that the right word? Canoers. You would, we'll go with canoers, it. Canoers. You would slow down somewhat, yeah. you know. <laughs> and most, like everybody did, except one. And it's probably the, Yukon Jack. <laughs> it probably was. Yukon's a stickler for the rules. He's very thorough. He would, he would slow he down would, around. He would I don't slow know if, down. I'm just trying to think, because I've been on him with a few times. I think, like, yeah, we'll slow down a little bit, but... He also then will veer far away. Okay. Yeah, because the way people time came too. close. Like he doesn't want like if if we see canoers coming, we'll go a little, quite a bit further away. Yeah, and That's drive polite. that way. Oh yeah. And so the so the all of a sudden so then the wakes are coming right. They're coming at you. Yeah. And we're and we're sort of perpendicular to those incoming wakes, and basically it's just you know, you're basically like locking your core center core of gravity to try to. And we get through. We were the first hit. Hits my uh, friend's canoe with the dog. No. Capsizes into the water. Like you, all their stuff no. starts, starts going downstream. Their dog's paddling the water like crazy. Like, we're in our canoe. We can't get out. Yeah. So you're sort of feeling a little bit helpless to help them. Luckily, it was shallow. Yeah. And they're, so they're trying to save the canoe, which isn't ours. Trying to save their dog, trying to save their stuff. It was just chaotic. But the craziest part is we're trying to move towards the shore which was near one of the pedestrian bridges. I can't remember which one. And like, there were people around, but the crazy part was when we, as we approached shore and we were clearly struggling with stuff, there were just like people sitting on the beach, like on their phones or reading books. And just watching just like, you? They're just like looking up and going. Nothing to see here. Back to their phones. Oh. There's a whole bunch of people watching from the bridge, which I don't blame them for watching. I mean, well, it's, what can they, it's yeah. like watching a car accident. Yeah. But like, yeah, I'd be the, all the in, man. Humanity. I'd come in. I'd I'd get in there and and try rescue. Full <laughs> dive. Full in. Glue Shirt guy off. Ask. Dive yeah. in. I'm Let's here. Go, baby. I'm here. There, you know. But everybody was safe and it worked out okay. But like, uh, yeah, it was kind of a, briefly scary. Not as bad. Not nearly as bad as yours. But like for them anyway, it was kind well, of well. Yeah, a you're panic you're moment. overturned in a moving body of water. It's an uncomfortable feeling. Yeah. Absolutely. Have you ever been? Fa- have you ever thought about that? Like, let's say you're you're on the LRT. There's a guy that pulls a knife on some poor, unsuspecting woman and her two children and is trying to rob Like them. playing hero? Yeah. You He's cold cock him. Would you do it? Yeah. I think Would everyone's you? thought of that. Okay, good. Everyone, have you? I think that's just like the thing. Okay, everyone what, wants that moment. Do you think in the moment? Do you think you'd have the gumption? Do you think you'd have the... Where are you standing? Like, like, behind. No, behind. You're behind You'd him? attack from... Oh, yeah. I think if, if he's gotta, I'm right. behind him? Well, he, he's not okay. looking at we'll me. Let's say the worst, you, you worst case scenario. 100%, you can step, step up there. there. Okay, let's go worst you case scenario. You could scenario. all go, and like you would hope that like if he's if he's looking the other way, you also hope that other people are jumping with you, and you all could just you take him down. You assume that, but what if there are a bunch of sitting on the side of the river people? Yeah. Because here's the thing you would hope, too, though, is that if you're the first one to go, once you go in, somebody's going to follow. There'll you, always be the follower. Hope, There's always going to be that follower. But like, okay, let's for sure. Worst case scenario, you're facing the guy. I probably would freeze a little. Not gonna lie, but you, but like you'd have to be tactical about how you yeah. approach this. Yeah. Do you go for the knife first? Do you protect the woman and her children first? You go ninja kick. I you think you just try to like drop kick, for sure. startle him in some way. Like you're you're trying to just un- be unpredictable in a sense and Do you get pull him. So the like, emergency I think lever. No, you punch and him stop in the, the neck. train, which you don't gets have time him for off that. foot. You don't have time for that. Well, what if you? Well, like, does this that, is does a dream situation. Does that I'm, stop the train? I don't know. I've never I don't think it. you can. I think it's a request. Yeah. So, like, I guess one thing is you kind of hope that there's someone behind him that you can make eye contact with to try to, like, team Best tag case team scenario him. Is that, that you that always need a second. You can tag team him. Like, you get his attention. The other person come yeah. from behind tackle. Yeah. You go in. You make sure you get the knife away. And then you jump on what, top. Like of what him. size of guy are you picturing too? Who right? cares? That's like, too. No, I'm saying. Well, like, any the, well, the kind of guy that's I'm doing that. A little bit. Like I'm a knife on a family and kids. Of course, kind of, okay, that, yeah. that's a good question. You're going to chirp him a little bit. The kind perfect. of guy that's doing that is probably five foot six, five foot seven. Like if probably, I'm standing yeah. there with a knife, a lot of people are coming at me. You? Yes. I'd blow at you. Exactly. Yeah. Like it's easy. It's easy. But if you have a bigger person, teamwork. Obviously, then it's like there's going to be a little more like, can I go for this one? Kick the back of the Maybe Tommy comes behind him and I push him over Tommy. I'll say it right now. You go for the balls if you have to. Sack? 
Absolutely. Right in the sack. <laughs> People? There's no honor in fighting at that point. No, there's not. <laughs> no, you it's it's one. It's a uh, thing uh, you, you'll read a lot on Reddit. People talk about like self defense. Yeah. If you ever are in a situation of self defense, go for the eyes. Go for the nutsack. If you have mm -hmm. all of that, because there's no honor at that point. If it's life or death, yeah, you go for it. Somewhere out there, Surveyor Brett is keeping a sack tally. He's got to be. <laughs> You got it. Just mm -hmm. went up by one. Yeah, <laughs> I think he's gonna quote tweet that. Actually. Yeah, people oh, who yeah. are in those situations, he's like those. if you, if he's you, you listen to interviews with people who've done that, there is no decision. Like they don't really think about it, right? Like they you just, just act. They just act. And they don't even have time, I guess. To they think about it. They yeah. just do it. They, they just do it. They they jump. Best in. case scenario is you would apprehend the person, maybe get a cut on the face or like on the hand, so you are bleeding as well. So you do actually take on the attributes of a hero. And you apprehend them and wait for the authorities to arrive. Then I think that's best case scenario. But that's where you also, I think, need the teamwork from someone. <laughs> Somebody else has to help you with that. You, you gotta have the blood. Well, I'm not, not laughing at like, what you I'm said. I'm like, Jay, I else. can't take someone down by myself and keep them down. Right? That's <laughs> where I'm going to need others to jump into and like multiple you, of us put them down. Would you be the down. initiator or would you be the guy who... I'd like to think I'd be the initiator, but you like want to know some... I don't know. I know. I'll sit here right now and say, I don't know. I know. That's the question. I don't know. I would. I w if I was by myself, I would. If I was with my wife and kids, I wouldn't. Jump in? Yes. Really? Yes. Because I don't want to leave them. That's fair. And put them at risk. Right? But if I was by myself, screw it. What if, I just start laughing, because like, what if you just put your hand on their shoulder and go, this is <laughs> a citizen's right. arrest? <laughs> <laughs> Do you can go to the citizen's Buddy, arrest. Stop. Please stop. He puts the knife down. He's like, damn it. You're right. Yeah. You I got, got caught me. again. You got me. You got me. Gosh darn. Damn citizen's arrest. <laughs> I think he tried enough. I think he tried to lower right? your shoulder, go right at the gut and take him out. Like push him back a little bit. There's so many variables. You push him away that's from where so it is. Variables. You hope that he drops the knife at that point. Like what if he's standing on the part of the LRT that's on that circular spart part that swivels when it goes around corners? You could use you that wait to your for the advantage. corner to happen, and yeah. then it gets yeah. a little off balance, and that's yeah. when you go. A little centrifugal force. Yeah. I like where this is going. Yeah, God, I hope science. I never in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's riding the LRT. I, and I didn't do take ride the LRT <laughs> you, like, um, for work. Yeah, a yeah. little bit just around downtown, and it's yeah, it's not it's not the best. No, there. it's not. It's been. I think it's gotten a bit better, but it's. Uh, I've taken the LRT a, more than I have in You're years going to this year. Though, right? I, well, I've taken it uh, going oh, to Bears U of games? A for a bit. Yeah. No, for like even just a, On a normal their day. clinic, oh, normal days. No, and, stuff. and it's packed with fans. Yeah. No, and I, and I'm I've had no issues now. Like I'm not taking no. it at night still. Like I'm not going at nine o'clock at night There's on a normal day and doing something. But for the most part, it, it's not like there are the issues and they need to be fixed. No, Do you right? pay when you go? Do you pay for the LRT? Depends. On Be the honest. Day. Depends on the day. I never pay. Depends on the day. They don't check. Like I, okay. I, I, do. I do pay, but they, they no. But wait, checking. you don't. Karma. Yeah, I know it's they, good karma. Every so often, someone will come on. Yeah. You know what? I've always said that. I've <laughs> the only time I take an LRT is if I'm going to an Elks game or an Oilers game, and you know yeah. you park at Southgate or something like that. Yeah. And I've always kept this little secret in my back pocket, but I'm going to reveal it. You can always play dumb and say, oh, I thought LRT rides were free when you have a ticket. Well, Elks are. Then I don't, then I don't, then I I'm don't, not cheating. I don't believe the Oilers are. No, they're not. But you could, you could sure yes. play that card. The Elks are free Ignorance. park and ride. Ignorance yeah. is bliss. Do you know they're That's trying That's I was going to play that one with Heritage Classic. I jumped on Heritage Classic. I'm, I didn't pay, but I right. was like, well, this should be free. They're trying Elks to bring in these free. big, massive turnstiles Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Hey? That would force payment. I think to get past so that you can't just hang around the LRT. Loiter? Yeah. Technical. Yep. So. So we've nice. got a little bit of the, we got to discuss something here. Tony. Okay. Let's. I was selected number one overall. Okay, the, well, uh, just let me quickly just reset. This is the EST Hangout presented by Mods Clamato Caesar, <laughs> Matawanic, Dan Grummet, Jay Milne, Tom Gazzola. Let's get to Movers and Shakers. Brought to you by Marco and Mike Realty. They're with Realty One Group Insider. Let Marco and Mike earn your trust. If you're looking to buy or sell a home, give them a shot. MarcoandMike.com for more information. Are you aware of the Edmonton Sports Talk drafts by any chance? Oh, yeah. Okay. I was asking Tom. I didn't know what... Uh the upcoming one was about though. I don't it's either. Christmas fully. one. Well, uh, but as so that's what Jay wants to get yeah, into. Jay so go for it, Jay. Jeff. I thought you here. were going to leave when when I brought that. up. I don't leave like Eric. Sensitive. Well, you left like <laughs> so. 
I left what? You, you did leave us. But I, I had to go do some I also work. ran into our new commissioner, who is just an absolute saint, Quinn Phillips, over the weekend. Oh, yeah? She Quinn. enjoyed the snowboard uh, experience the, the other day. Big she, air? She was having a great time. Did she? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quinn was in great shape. <laughs> she, uh, she had a good time. Hey? She had a very good time. <laughs> well, I'm just happy that uh, Commissioner Quinn is, is involved. She's a great commissioner. Yeah, she's going she's gonna to really be a What's good commissioner What's the role of the commissioner in the draft? I don't know. If Keep there was these some, lunatics in check. And they don't like being kept in check. No, we just we just don't like dictatorship. Right. Here, here. Somebody's yeah. got to make calls. Solidarity. Somebody's got to make here, calls. Here, here, here. My call was right. Uh, according to the Twitter poll, it wasn't. But let's, I digress. What was the call? What were you, so oh, I God. we did a Saturday Night Live draft. Oh, okay, yeah, I saw that one. I didn't allow multiple, like the same person to be you. selected multiple different ways because I didn't want it to be a draft of just Will Ferrell, Chris Farley, you and Norm McDonald. So needed the same to be, actor could only be drafted once? Pretty much, yeah. yes. Yeah. And, and and if, if Will Ferrell was taken as a host, let's say, I can't remember what he was taken as, you couldn't take him as Norm McDonald later. You couldn't take him as Alex right. Trebek, some of his greatest Alex work. Alex Trebek, sorry. Greatest work. Or the um, impressions. Greatest work. But mm. it's they have 49 seasons and is supposed to try to encompass Saturday Night Live. Have a little variety. Have a little variety. It's a draft. Make it, you know, tough. It can't be easy. They just want the easy way. They want it to be the Calgary salesman of Leon's. <laughs> and they didn't want to be hey. the sales guys hey. from Saskatoon. You it's know? Leon. They wanted the easy sales. Um, but now they've got a draft with the new commissioner because I resigned. You quit. Like, Loser. resigned. It was an epic. I resigned. Epic, that was an epic EST day because we had our watch party here. The Oilers were in Washington. The start That's of the eight started the whole winning streak. streak. Yeah, exactly. Which we will get to. Yeah. So since you resigned, the Oilers are eight and one. We could also say since the six o'clock or logger was first cracked, they were eight. Oh, no, no, I like I like what Dan said. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta you get, haven't tried. It? Can, no, I gotta get it in me. It, don't so worry, get it in you right pass now. one of those. Yeah. Do you want one right now? Yeah, sure. Yeah, grab me. Let's go. Jay's going to go get it. place to try it. Old Red Beer. We should have one in the Scott fridge. Scott Laurie gave me one of the Kolsch's um, from the Beer of the Week. I'm going to drink that as soon as I'm done this. Summer. Yeah, you're on. not working today. Nope. You're good. Yeah. Um, Jay was supposed to go somewhere with the the draft and all of that. I could have yeah, gone whatever. and got the beer. I don't know why um, he had to get up. And... This, this show today has been very loose and free-flowing, which is great because it is Friday. Is and it I, not normally? I don't know. Yeah, good point. It's usually like, what the show is. Lance yes. was like, are you guys talking sports? It's, pretty loose. it's chill. Yeah, Ryan, a guy named Ryan Texan said, uh, uh, no sports not. talk. I'm going to go to sleep. Okay. And, um, but like said, Eric said. Sweet dreams, sweet prince. Oh, yeah. Have have your first six o'clock or lager. Like Eric said, a yeah, good beer should be able lunch, to be guys. had this is awesome. at any temperature. If it's Tell me what beer. you think. Yeah. yeah, beer doesn't have to be cold. Can we zoom in on him drinking this first sip? No, I don't have that okay. ability just to do that. Grummy's like, fully like first that. sip <laughs> of six o'clock or lager. Let's hear it. He likes it. He really likes it. Daddy likes. Tasty, guys. Yes. It's a good beer. Winning. Very nice. Yeah. Great job, Alley Cat. Yeah, they nailed it. It is crushable. Yeah, that's absolutely. what they say. That's what the kids are saying on December the street. December 22nd. Conch me. Conch me. Thanks, guys. That's nice. No problem. All right, Grummy. Okay, so if... Uh, Let's just talk. Let's get real. Here. Let's just, talk. let's just talk. Let's okay? talk. Let's turn the cameras off and let's just talk. Well, the camera's got to stay on. Just We've like got a show to do. Some dudes, you know. We're just we're just sitting here chopping it up. Okay, let's. If you were gonna draft Christmas movie characters, I got mine already. Okay, because according to the morning show, there is a clear. And Matt, I don't want you to be sensitive about this. I want you to chime in, please. If you can, because you know I am the glue guy, right? I'm here to comfort you. I'm here to be the pillow to cry on, so to speak. Says the guy who started hashtag solidarity. Here, 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 here. Thank you. <laughs> Just wanted you to say that, um, but I really do want you to chime in. Well, get to it. Who would be your number one overall pick in the Christmas movie draft? Clark Griswold. Okay. Wow. That would be mine. That I would... I do like but Scott that's just Calvin, off the top though. of my head. Yeah. I haven't now, had a lot of time to think about it. I, I think don't. he went first. Of, oh, hold up a second quickly. Breaking what? news. LA Chargers have fired head coach Brandon Staley. So, shocking when you give up 63 points to the That Raiders. was brutal. Yeah. Crushed the over-under there. 
<laughs> just by a bit. Right? <laughs> it was a 30, little early. It was too. 36 points. A big sweater know. on that one. And a half. 34 and a half. A big sweater for the betters on that one, waiting to the last second. Yeah, you know, I like think, I, I think the over cashed in the first quarter with the yeah. Raiders alone. Uh, Damn. So cue the rumors to Bill Belichick being the next Chargers head coach. I, well, yeah. Like, no, he's, he's a commie. <laughs> why would you take if you're Bill I Belichick? I don't want him. If you're Bill Belichick, if it just as a coach, why would you go to Commanders over Chargers? You wouldn't. Yeah. But I want Eric B. Enemy to be promoted to head coach. That'd be, I, that's not a bad move. That's my guy. Are you encouraged by the new ownership in Washington? Yes. Yeah. Very much so. Dan Snyder is a oh. dis- deplorable human being. That's an understatement. He is a piece of excrement. Excrement. There we go. I he's hate him. like the piece, like he's that broccoli smell. Do you know Magic that's Johnson? Dan Do you know Magic Johnson's part owner of the Commanders? Yep. Really? Yeah, yeah man. He was part of the uh, Josh Harris and uh, Magic Johnson. I forgot. They own the Devils else. in the seventy six. Salary cap. Well, I don't think I don't think Magic's with those ones. Okay. Okay. I think he just was a part owner with Harris in uh, the Commanders. Oh, salary okay, cap just got side. increased. Yeah. The commies have a hundred million dollars to spend this off season. So you don't want Bill Belichick for sure because you don't want him to be your GM. I oh, right. know that that's the consensus. What the media is saying that Bill. Because there's ties there. There's ties to ownership. To Washington? Yes. Yes. Uh, through Bill Belichick. Well, and the closeness to, you know, military and all that. Fanatics guy. All, everything. Everything. I don't want it. I want my boy nope. enemy to be promoted. Sam Howell is the guy. We're going to ride with Sam Howell. Okay. Okay. We need to bolster up our offensive line. Ever since we traded Trent Williams, we've never been the same. We need to bolster our O-line. Our defense is young, but they're going to be fine. That's my statement. See, in the Chargers, if you're Bill Belichick, you got an offense. You got Justin Herbert. You've got Keenan Allen. You've got Mike Williams. Is you got Keenan Josh Allen not like got, 45 years old? Like, has this know, guy been in the like league it. forever? But always hurt at some point. Of course, I'm in playoffs for fantasy this week, and he's yeah. hurt for me to start. Like, oh, healthy all year, and now he gets hurt. Um, and he's a defensive coach, so he could turn that defense around, I think. If you want to go win right away, Bill Belichick should be looking at the Chargers, but that's where I'm going. How are you feeling about your Ravens? I'm nervous always with my Ravens. I'm nervous, excited. Like I'm not nervous. I'm nervous. They excited. should beat the Jags if there's no Trevor Lawrence. But then 49ers Dolphins back to back weeks is going to be difficult. It's going to prove. That'll it's going to prove. But if the they go one split seed, that, they split. They're going to the win the number. Seed. They're the number one seed. And okay, now and guess what? But now it's up to Lamar. Can Lamar do it in the playoffs? Guess what? And I don't know. If the season was to end today, Baltimore would have the number one seed in the AFC. Yep. Do you know who their potential opponent would be in round two? Joe Flacco and the Cleveland Browns. I love Joe Flacco. I have a soft Every spot. Every Baltimore Ravens fan him. says that. Because he won us the Super Bowl. Because he and throws the best spiral in it, the NFL. And that Super Bowl run he had, I think only he tied John Elway for a record of like 11 or 12 touchdown passes and zero interceptions in the playoffs. He was unbelievable. Was Jacoby good. Jones was great. Like, that was a great team. They won. I'll, and I have no problem with the contract he got after that. He won us a Super Bowl. Yeah, you deserve it. Yeah. Who's your team, Dan? The New York Giants. Ooh, a football yeah. giant. You and Jason Strudwick. How about Tommy DeVito, eh? It was a, It came from fantasy. You know, I had a lot of, like, I had Tiki Barber, Plaxico Burris, Tiki and then Barber. Eli, Eli here and there, like, in the back in the day. And then they, you know, beat Brady. So that's kind of where it comes from. David I mean, Tyree, a, the catch. It's been, yeah, that the was catch was great. His last catch ever in the National Football League. What a, ca- what a way to go out. So that's kind of where it, came, it comes from. But, I mean, obviously it's not fun. Yeah. But you always have those memories of beating the Pats not once but you twice. Have a like that is a great yeah, way yeah. to celebrate. It's you not like you just won. I don't mope around. I'm like, eh, yeah. well, we're, well, we're we're bad this year. Okay, because like then. you got to look back and go, they won Super Bowls, but everyone's gonna in this era is gonna talk about how great Tom Brady and Bill Belichick are. Yeah, and they Man. took them down twice. That's moving twice. towards Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. Would you, you know, realistically? Like, in this era. No, like, no, but like if of the of this like we'll talk about how great Tom Brady and Bill Belichick were for that 20 year span. And in that 20 years, they won multiple Super Bowls, went many times. Giants beat them twice. That's a nice it's pretty cap crazy. in your feather to say. Who's greater? Tom Brady or Bill Belichick? What you can't have one Tom without Brady. the other. I don't think Apparently t- yeah. you can't. Because- I don't think Tom Brady could have won as many Super Bowls if he didn't have Bill. I don't think Bill would have won Super Bowls if he didn't have Tom. Look at Mac Jones. Mac Jones was supposed to be the, the second coming of Christ, and he stinks. Yeah. 
They needed and Cam Bill Newton. Belichick's his coach. Mm-hmm. Go find what say you, Matthew. Go find how many head coaches have won multiple Super Bowls with different starting quarterbacks. It's a very small list. It's like three. Andy Reid has with different mm-hmm. quarterbacks. He won one quarterback. He's no. only won with Patrick Mahomes. No. He didn't win with the Eagles. Oh, Super Bowl appearance. Yeah, you're right. I stand correct. Who are the three coaches? Joe Gibbs, I believe, did it with the Redskins at the time. Yeah. Um, multiple, like Mark Rippon, Joe Theismann. Uh, did he win with Joe Theismann? No. He, yeah, well, Joe Theismann Or uh, Doug, did. Williams. Doug Williams. Doug Williams. Doug Williams. I think Bill Parcells might have with the Giants. Phil Sims, and I can't remember who else it would have been. Tommy DeVito Sr.? Uh, um, who else did it? One of, and I always forget which coach it was. One of the 49ers coaches, either Bill Walsh or George uh, It would have been Seifer. Bill Walsh, I think, because he had Montana and Young. I can't remember oh, like when yeah, the transition yeah, yeah, happened, yeah, yeah, though. Yeah. I don't know if Walsh had already 93. retired and then Seifert took over, but like that's it. Bill won with one coach. Mike Tomlin's only won with one or one quarterback. Yeah. Tomlin's only won with one quarterback. Like you go through the history. Um, you know, the Cowboys when they won, it was the same QB the whole time. You know, that it's not you don't find coaches winning with different QBs. It's hard. John Arbaugh has never won with a different quarterback. If he they goes wins with Lamar, I would put him in a special class. So that's why it's difficult for me to rip on Bill Belichick for not having that next Super Bowl while Tom Brady did. As excited nervously as I am for your Baltimore Ravens, they're not going to win the Super Bowl. Why not? They're not built for it. They don't have They have a moxie. defense. They have a defense. They don't step on people's throats. They don't have that gear. They did against the Lions and the Seahawks in back-to-back weeks. How long ago was that? Four weeks ago. Hmm. So if not Baltimore, like what are you guys' I'm Super Bowl, still scared Super Bowl of the Chiefs. Like, you I should will be. never bet against Pat so Mahomes in the playoffs. You should be scared absolutely of the Chiefs. I also would be scared of the Buffalo Bills. A hundred percent. Yeah, they've been... They're not a good regular no, season, no, but wonky. they get to the playoffs. You have Josh Allen, you have they're Stephon gonna make, Diggs. They're going to get to the playoffs. They're like, I think they play the... They're the sneaky dark horse. They get they, the Cowboys this weekend, I believe. Well, Is Dak go. the MVP? Oh. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. His numbers are ridiculous. I picked him up off waivers. A Dak? Month, a month ago. What kind of league are you in? A wow. Person, I don't know. I just That's a great pickup. Maybe it was six weeks ago. That's I don't an know. awesome pickup. A, wow. Yeah. Because I had Justin Fields, who was not, not doing a whole lot for me. Oh, but now you he kept him. You should, did you hurt. keep him? No. Oh, See, that's my I, have I have him. Spot. I'm running with him. He's good. He's getting hot. The now, Bears might make the playoffs. But do the Bears keep him? Yes. This is they a They get the number one overall pick. And possibly. Do you keep him? Yeah. Which I think, the, I, I agree. I think you keep him. You trade that number one to bolster your line or something yes. else. Yes. And you build a team around Justin Fields. And they're going to have a mid-first round pick as well. like For them, for themselves. For, the, for themselves. I would absolutely... This is a tryout for Justin Fields the next... Why would they consider trading a guy? Because yeah. you got the number one overall far. pick. And you, you could can, go get Caleb Williams. And the NFL loves <sighs> the next toy. Caleb yeah. Williams yeah, is right? such a like bust. I'm I agree. calling it. He is going to be a bust. Part of that is, how many great USC quarterbacks ever go to the pros? Last one was Matt Leinart. And that, or, or no. Carson Palmer was a, had a good uh, career. Carson Palmer was, was uh, great. He was a blonde guy that went to the Jets. Uh, Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, they He's don't produce one, NFL one quarterbacks. Right? Like, yeah. The Darnold highlight, is is that the one I'm thinking of? Really? No, Sanchez. Oh, yeah, sorry. you're thinking Mark Sanchez. Fumble. Oh, different Jets. Yeah, Bill's Cowboys. Just double-checked. Butt fumble was yeah, but also Matt Matt, Matt, Mark Sanchez oh. brought the Jets to two AFC Championship. They games. make great broadcasters. Like, that's what's though. crazy about it. They make great broadcasters. Sure. I mean, Leinart is good. He's a great broadcaster, but he was supposed to be the uh, successor to Kurt Warner in Arizona. I don't. Was he overcooked, Matt, Matt Leinart? Because remember, he he stayed an extra year. He, uh, he, him and Connor Halley got into it on Twitter once. Or Matt Leinart? Yeah. About what? I can't remember. Connor? Yeah. Connor Come got on. like a... He wasn't... I'm going to have to see if I can find this. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's epic. Yeah. I'll see if I can Matt find Leinart it. Matt Leinart sucked. No, it's... Uh, yeah, Chiefs, Bills, though, in the AFC are the teams that... Yep. Dolphins haven't been proven in the playoffs. And I don't know if they have the defense for it. Maybe I haven't watched enough of them. Um, I and think then, the Eagles would be the Ravens in the AFC. I think the, I think the 49ers are going to drop a game, and I think the Eagles can win out 
I think the Eagles could get the number one spot in the NFC. They play the Damn. Giants, your Giants, twice. Found in the it. Last three what weeks. What was it? Matt Liner tweeted in 2015, Titans coach fire. Now Marcus Mariota has a chance. Connor quote tweeted it. Funny how Big Ben Rivers and Kurt Warner thrived under him. So their coach at the time, that would have been Ken Wisenhunt. Yeah. And then Liner replied to him. Have my thoughts on that, but you must have been in those locker rooms, so I guess you know. Ooh, Shut up, Matt Leinart. Don't you dare go after Connor Halley. <laughs> so. And Connor sensitive. was too nice. He went, touche, Matt. Like, come on, Connor. Double no, down. You fight him. Oh. You double down. I might have, I might just jump in and tweet that. And he's a former Cardinal, and I still don't like him. Confuse Connor, too, why that's yeah. getting tweeted at yeah. right now. Leave Connor Halley alone. Yes, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's overwhelm his Let's tweets. all just go on yeah. Matt yeah. Leinart for this tweet from 2015. <laughs> Back to our Christmas draft. Uh, Who's your number right. one pick? I, but I, okay, I don't want to get into this. But Please. Yeah. I don't know what the categories are. Well, let's just assume it's Christmas movie characters. So, well, Griswold, I think, was the one taken back at the old place at 1260 when we when we did the Christmas draft. Then. I, I think gotta, Griswold was right up there. I think that's a strong number. Um, at that Christmas draft, for me personally, like this is not going to win things. It's a Wonderful Life is my favorite Christmas movie. So anything connected with It's a Wonderful Life is that never, the black and white movie? movie? Yes. Yeah, you know what? Thanks. I've never seen it. Me neither. It's amazing. It's very good. Yeah. 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 You should. You should watch it. I watch it once a like year. It's for a masterpiece. Christmas. Uh, like I, I don't think you'll be watching. Do I need to be hung over? Um, Ooh, yeah, that good would question. help. Thank you. I think that'd be help. Like, yeah, yeah. it's well, a long movie. It, like what it, am I committing? Like here? it's about a three parter. Like you could probably break that up into three parts. There's I like want different nothing eras. to do with this film. Um, it's probably about three hours long or something. <laughs> no, it, I, look, I, I believe every. I, believe I would say it's good, probably. It's got to like, be close. Well, I love when you it's refer on TV, to it, it might be. Film. Maybe I think it's less. If you do well with black and white, no. Yeah, you're not going to get through it. No, I I struggle. It's a wonderful life. If you're hungover on the couch, you're falling asleep first yeah. second scene. Yeah, 131 minutes. So yeah, on, on TV it goes for about three hours. Because it's every Christmas Eve, oh, yeah. it plays. Don't watch it with commercials. No, yeah. Um, like it's I don't, a wonderful movie. So, like anything connected to that would be big for me. But I don't know. Like again, well, categories well, would be important for this for me to make a selection. If there are or something. categories, we don't even know. It's right. Just well, characters like I don't know. Well, Quinn's got to decide. New Kamish, no. tell us. Bad Santa. I would like to. Bad Santa, great. That's a high. phenomenal. Billy Bob's character. Yeah. Yeah. His name escapes me, but yeah. What's some sandwich? Well, who are you going to take first overall? <laughs> Well, I was going to give it to Tom just in the spirit of Christmas. If he wanted to have the first overall pick, I'd oh, gladly. You're just anticipating me totally blowing it. That's right. That's what the boys this morning are anticipating. They're thinking about picking their pick around you because they know <laughs> you're going to screw it up and they're going to have a great pick. I'm I'm legitimately worried about this draft. A, I want to have a good bounce back because I've had two bad ones. I didn't think my SNL draft was bad, but people really hated on the Jimmy Fallon pick. In retrospect, if you had I to pick why. best G SNL characters, yeah, where would Jimmy Fallon fall on that list for you? I, he wouldn't have been on my team. <laughs> I don't know. He Thanks, just bothers Grummy. me. And then, well, then, you can, yeah, you can leave. Enough. But there was the no, story. You, you can Give me that beer back. Yeah, I want that six o'clock beer back. <laughs> there was the story about how, you know him treating his uh, like this is post SNL. Oh, he's you're treating, going with yeah with the he's staff. Treating his staff like garbage, which really ah, I don't. Like I let that. that affect me. You know, I let like, and plus. Tom's he big into a, workplace. He, kind of, he was a very Toxicity. strong <laughs> cast member. <laughs> yes. Yep. But at some point along the way, he became a little bit annoying to me. And I can't That's the word. forgive it again. Annoying. He laughed too many times. He broke too many you times. You always okay. said he broke too he much. He broke way too and much. And he was the king of breaking. And I'm okay with breaking. It's just, it's every skit right it felt like for him. Yeah. He broke. And it's like, like oh, when dude. Will Ferrell breaks, it's like, oh my God, Will Ferrell. Bill breaks. Hader, same right? way. Because yeah. like these guys, there's such Armisen. professionals that it's like, yeah. it's part of it. When they break, or yeah. if it's it's Good if point. it's a scene where it's like actually really funny and they break, you're like that's great. Yeah. But like Jimmy like Fallon just laughs at just like anything. Is Fallon like, yeah. doing that that Christmas song? Yeah, you know where they're with Dixon Horatio Sands, Sands, and he Tracy can't even. Oh no, that Chris Kattan. Yeah, Chris Kattan. Yes. yes, and he can't even look no. at the camera because he's laughing too yeah. hard, and Which it ruins it. Deal with it. Yeah, you're supposed to be there. You're supposed to be better. So like Tracy Morgan and that is just <laughs> he's just doing that weird slow dance, the weird dance. Yeah, epic. There's a lot of great cast members but uh i'd assume it yeah like i think clark griswold is embodies it's a top the one? spirit of okay. it. which also the movie for it like that's and i think there's for a connection the voters, that. that's well that's that's got to play in like well, where your christmas blah, 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 white black and white thing it's a wonderful life wouldn't play no i mean no. it didn't get drafted at the last one yeah which i so. think you two are going to need to make sure i don't know if you were part of that christmas one 
No, not that. You guys might want. They're going to remember how they drafted. They have of course an they advantage. Sure. They have a full advantage. They have an advantage DVDs regardless. And they watch regardless. Tommy and I were talking about this out, they do. The, out in the green room. We were talking about this and saying how Dustin, everybody just wants to vote for Dustin. Yes. Vote for Dustin. Vote for I Eric. love Dusty. I love Dusty. He's it's my like, favorite. You might as oh, well not even like, put, the, put the poll out. Yeah. Sounds like every pick Dustin makes is a home run. He's actually quite good at drafts. He's good. Because <laughs> Dustin's done, like our home run. Dustin's yeah, done a great good. job with it. Dusty yeah. also picks for what the listener wants. Yeah. He, 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 he picks based Genius. off them. Where these guys, no, 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 Martin no, 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 or no. Tommy, has yeah. picked with the heart before. I'm like, authentic. If I was in this draft yeah. and I took It's a Wonderful Life, that yeah. is completely a heart pick. It's not winning me the draft. I no, tried the panda route but Dusty last just, time and it failed. Yeah. I took Chris Farley. I had Celebrity Jeopardy. That yeah. should be I huge. had Eddie Murphy, yeah. and I had Dick in a Box. Because you know what happens? Yeah. He's got what a Twitter doing? following of tens of thousands, and EST Glue Guy's not there yet with his following. And I almost, I almost caught him. I'm gonna catch that so, giant bastard one of these times. Yeah, you will. Tommy, are you scared <laughs> that you might get relegated? Yeah, I am legit uh, because I think our EST nasties want to see it happen, and I'm not happy about that. So I'm I want to see it happen. I want to. I want to get Russian bots. I want to stuff the ballot. I want to fully do this to get Dusty relegated. Oh my Ooh. gosh! I'm gonna put it out there. How much I money do you love, need? How much money? I Let's would reinstate love... Matthew right now. Yes. You're so, no, because I can't. Be, I can't do that. Then I'm commish. I would oh, yeah. love to sewer that vote so Dusty Damn. can't do a draft until someone else gets relegated, and I will then stuff the ballot moving forward to make sure no one falls under that 10% this again. Evil genius. Coup. This is a coup. Yeah. I'm privy to coup talk. That's like, awesome. Grummy, I, so we're talking about like the first overall pick, or you know, is Clark Griswold number one consensus pick <laughs> in this draft coming up? I personally, when I pick from the heart and I go authentically, my favorite Clark Griswold is not Christmas Vacation Clark Griswold. It is Vegas Vacation oh, Clark Griswold. It's a great it was on movie. TV on Sunday night. It's a oh, great it? film. AMC. Damn. It's a great crappy movie. I, yeah. And that's my favorite Clark Griswold. I remember seeing that in the theater too. I'm not going to lie. Like, but, I don't really like Christmas Vacation. as What? Like, yeah. Oh, I mean, no, dude. It's good. I'm being it's honest. Good. I know it's good. And Julia Louis-Dreyfus is good. And uh, was it Randy Quaid is funny. And, you know, Crapper's full. I don't want to drop an S-bomb this morning. But uh, it has some great moments. But I, the ending with him not getting the 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 bonus and, like, the, snapping? I felt... You don't like him snapping? No. Like, I felt bad watching it. And oh. I like seeing... Vegas Vacation, even European Vacation, Clark Griswold, I find more enjoyable than Christmas Vacation, Clark Griswold. I yeah, don't know Euro's why. Euros is number four for me. It's not a great. Vacation it is not a great. But there's movie. some funny. Yeah, it has some moments. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know the the scene where Clark Griswold is snapping when he doesn't get his bonus? Yeah. Yeah. Going off on a tirade. Like it gets dark a little bit, and he's in that kind of that room off off of the living room, and he's looking at all of his family. Yeah. Do you know that every one of them was wearing cue cards around their neck? When he was looking at them, because it was a long monologue. Yeah. And he was on point. But there were specific things he said, and it wasn't just frecker, frecker, frecker. It was words. And they were all looking at him with giant cue cards around their neck. So, oh. he, could, words, so he could remember the script. Little insider. That's spoiling cool. the movie for Bring you now. Like that, yeah, that yeah it's spineless, spineless. Yeah. There's just, yeah. just <laughs> adjectives on everybody's. Is that I gotta be saying? honest. My middle daughter, who's uh, nine years old, she said, "Because we're coming back, we're going down to Calgary for a couple days, and we're driving back, and we're going to be at our house for Christmas Eve." You guys hosting? No, no, no. My parents will oh. on Christmas Day, but we're going down to my in-laws in Calgary, and then we're coming back. And she said, "Dad, like Christmas Eve, we're we're watching." Christmas vacation, right? Like, yes, yes, we are. It's a proud dad moment that my nine year old is really looking forward. To. It's a good, it's a, it's a, it's a staple. Is Christmas Day bigger for you guys or Christmas Eve? Christmas Eve, because Eve. Eve for me. Yeah. So is Day the bigger one for you? Uh, like for me, it's the Ukrainian. Like yeah, we well, do, the do the thing on the twelve dishes, dishes on and that. So like Christmas Eve, like Christmas Day is almost like well, get it's over. Put a um, some halap chi. Nope. A whole up to yes, not Pitishka. No, no. Hmm? Cod, DJ, or uh, uh, 
We do fish. Do you do fish because yeah. that's meatless? Yeah, technically, it's weird, but it's it but is. It, yeah, no, I do the whole thing: borscht, really? kutia, borscht, all that kutia. stuff. Oh, oh kutia. kutia! You know, kutia wheat. We used to it's, sugary it's, wheat. It's, uh, it's either people wheat. hate it and they won't eat any of it, or people just love it. So, you know what tapioca is? Yeah, it's tapioca, but it's with wheat and it's dark. Interesting. It's and there's a Ukrainian tradition that you're actually supposed to take a spoon and throw it on the ceiling. You make it a mess. If it sticks, you're going to have good luck for the year because you had a good harvest. Right. You leave it there. And you're supposed to clean it. We got to do it at my aunt's once. We're so happy. Every yeah. year as kids, we'd want to throw it because you can't take the food and throw it on the ceiling. Yeah. Growing Boy, up, going to, to my baba's so. house in Vagerville, <clears throat> Kucha was always the thing that's like, God, do we have to, Mom? And yes, you always have to eat it. I didn't. I I didn't care for it. My brothers love it. Yeah, I love it. I, I did not I'll care eat it. for it. Um, we have a rule of families. Everyone has to have a everything. Yeah, you have to have everything. So my brother and cousin each take one little kernel of wheat. Yeah, that's all. I, I, I would do the same thing yeah. as them. I'd be like, okay. And then the rest of us, we take six spoonfuls and we eat it. Like, there's no in between with this one. Yeah. Do you also keep frozen kucha on your freezer? No. Beside the chicken? No. Beside the chicken? Cut no. Them. I eat those ones. I eat that. So I missed a bit of that. What was the whole uh, Maddie's? Key, Maddie's you, got like shredded chicken. It's that not. It was just a, it's a like leftover a, chicken that's still there. That it's yeah, just really it, hot. So I'm not eating it all at once. Good, and you can take it out of the freezer, put it in yeah. a microwave or slow cooker, and make yeah. another meal out of it. Absolutely, I'm down it's, with that. That's all it is. Um, on the topic of holiday films, Jasmine chimes in. Great job yesterday, Jasmine. She also chirped my wardrobe today. Ouch. Uh, the night before with Seth Rogen is hilarious, especially the piano mat toy store theme playing Kanye. What was the other movie uh, with like Kate McKinnon? And it had like a really good cast, and it's like a holiday movie. It's like a holiday. It's like is it Office Party or? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I'm that assuming one. this is quite new. It's it like pretty a new. Com. It's like three it, or four it, years it, ago, and right? it's great. Like All it is Star hilarious. Cast. Yeah, and it's just sleazy. Was it Seth Rogen in it? Kate is, McKinnon's doing SNL. Is soon. it the night before? Maybe No, that's... I think it's Office Party or something like that. If only we had this thing like a phone to look it up. I don't know how it's to like I don't know how to navigate this. this. Google, I think. Google. It will help. I'll, I'll quickly look it up. Look it up and then we actually have to get to the Oilers. Okay. Because we haven't talked any Oilers yet. You know what? I got absolutely shredded on the post game show last night for defending Stuart Skinner. Office Christmas Party. Office Christmas. 2016. That's a great movie. It's wow. hilarious. Jason Bateman, Olivia Munn, T.J. Miller, Jillian Bell, Vanessa Bayer. <clears throat> yes, I'm a big Jennifer Olivia Aniston Munn fan. in it. Yes, so. that's right. That's right. Great. great um, movie. I'm surprised actually at how angry Oilers fans were it, this morning following that loss. Did you see them last they night? They won eight in a row. And a they loss lost to is Tampa coming. Bay. They lost to Tampa Bay. I don't. Uh, I don't understand the anger towards individual players uh, at this time. You know, like, yeah, you're, like you said, you're, they won eight. Grummy, you you watch the team, obviously. You follow. He won seven straight starts, 10 of his last 13, and he let in, like, a couple of stinkers against two of the best scorers in the game right now in the third period. So last night I had went and played my annual or weekly Thursday night hockey at the Kinsman Arena. I watched the first two periods, then I had to go play. They were up 3-2, right? Uh, somebody got hurt on the ice, and so there was a break in the play. <clears throat> somebody comes out of the dressing room. Hey, the Oilers lost. We're like, what? I'm like, yeah, 7-4. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Like, are you messing with us? No, yeah, I did. And then, but here came the worst take. Like, people are, oh, geez, how could that happen? And people are checking their phones and stuff. So one guy's like, you know what? Like, this is how bad some of the takes are out there. He's like, they got to roll with Pickard. You hold oh that, that hey some people were like, saying what? that last Are night you nuts? Yeah. like no that's yeah. not the plan that can't be the solution like pickard's he was fine in the last start Played right very he, well, he did well against game. the devils I yes think it was. but uh and he'll probably get the no. devils again yeah maybe yeah he you might know, like, yeah that's the front that's end of a back that's the first back-to-back -back of the season and I, you, I think you usually go with your backup <laughs> instead of your starter in the front so that your players are more tired in the next game. You have the better goalie there. Yeah. But, like, if Skinner has a poor game on s tomorrow, now you can sit there and be like, okay, is there something creepy? But one-off, they, they yeah. won eight in a row. You're going to have bad games occasionally. And when it comes to a goalie, when they have a bad game, generally that means the puck's going on the back of the net. Right. The fourth goal was was bad. I, I, CC, like, I think I saw somebody tweet the C CC played it perfectly. I was like, I don't know about that. Got, I don't think. He got danced think, by the leading scorer in yeah, the league. Yeah, that's how I saw it. But uh, the Just fifth goal was out, really right? bad. 
like chill out. The fifth wrister, like yeah, that was, screen, yeah. But it, it doesn't look good. Like we all know when we see a bad or that was a bad less guy. than great goal to give up. Guy. And you know what? Skinner owned it. But what? Like he's the goalie. What else? You really think going down the path with with Calvin Pickard as your starter is the way to go with this thing? No. Like I, he, unless Skinner, I guess, consistently does this for a few games. Exactly. Um, I don't think you have to panic. How dare you, Dan Grummet? Use logic and reason. <laughs> How dare well, you? The boys this morning got a text, and you got these type of texts last night, too. Oh. But one person said they're complicit in not going after Skinner. And it's like, I was like complicit in what? Either. Like, he just won well, 10 of like, his last it, 13 starts. Seven what does in it a row. accomplish to go after him? That's I don't like, know. You know what I mean? And then the other thing, too, is people are like, they're never going to win with this guy. And I, I'm like, did you think that the Golden Knights were going to win with Aiden Hill? Well, they he was their fourth stringer going into the playoffs. <laughs> Skinner is in his second full NHL season, coming off a year where he was a Calder finalist and an all-star. So I do look forward to the playoffs, though. Like, I try to look at it as an arc. Like, the way things are now. Yeah, exactly. Um, You know, hopefully they make him. I think I I was, you guys have probably chatted about this and figured out who their probable first round opponent is. Like, I know I'm looking way too far ahead, but but trying to project the roster that's going to have to face either LA, Vegas, or like, what Dallas? Like the or winner Colorado. of the Central? Well, winner of the Central. If, I think the route. We were having this conversation yesterday at the rink. The route through the Central. Like if the Oilers wind up in the first wild card spot, yeah, maybe the route through the Central Division it's might better. could be easier. Yeah, it is better. You're yeah. going up against Colorado to start potentially, or Dallas. It's yeah, tough, it's tough. I don't know. You go like beat LA twice, and then you want to go against the Golden Knights. Like, I, Vancouver, I don't think any of them are good for the Vancouver Oilers. Vancouver might be the team that you want to go up against. But the way the Oilers have played Vancouver this year, that's a good luck. Like. They so I look at so it as poorly. more, the concern for me more is Skinner then, like I, what will Skinner's game be then in in the first, like can you beat, I don't know, I guess it's Cam Talbot or Aiden Hill, Logan Thompson again. Or, he should be able to. Or, uh, He's supposed Ottinger. to continue to right, be getting should better. Be. Yeah. But, but again, that wasn't the plan, right? Like we've all, he was anointed the starter sort of by accident or by, and for virtue of his play and the failure of the... The high Jack, price goal, yeah, Jack, Jack Campbell, yeah. which I thought the 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 hearing that oh once he you know a couple more good starts he's back up like I just hated that no plan, rush you no. know well I, Holland said on the Oilers pregame yesterday um, on Oilers Plus they're running with Skinner and Pickard till Christmas at yeah. least so but there's no from rush what you know was that the plan like all along do you think that was the plan all along to have Skinner take over as number one no to have Campbell stay down till Christmas. Because there, I was hearing, you know, that yeah. like, from from listening. It was supposed to, to be after media. this after this home stand. Campbell was initial. That but was the first report. Game, right? Yeah, like, and it's but, been but pushed. But they're basing decisions on single events. That's not really good. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, and, and the other thing too is like if somebody wants Campbell or is willing to step up for him, like they'll they'll trade him now. Like, but they don't want to give away a first. They don't want to give away a first and a second. They don't want like they don't want to pay that price to get rid of him. But if someone wants him or is willing to take him, they're gonna try to Cal Peterson him. Sure. But oh. there shouldn't be a rush to get Jack Campbell up. No. He's gotta have consistency in the AHL. Yeah. Which sucks because the uh, Rodrigue should just be playing there and getting the bulk of the starts. Yeah. Ideally. I right, but... agree. You want to develop your other this other guy that might be something down the road. I don't know. But down the road is the big key for me there because then I'm okay yeah. with him losing some starts this year because you're not expecting him being NHL or next year. No. And he could pick up those starts next year or something when you've dealt with Campbell and you've moved on from Campbell. Yeah. But I keep trying to look at like, so you know, Yanmark, Fogel, dry side of line, you know, they think they were... They were good. Light, light, like they had to really one extent, one extended yeah. shift that was really good. Like, but come yeah, playoff time, Fogel like, do you need to buzzing. get, like, do you need to get Drysaddle a better winger that we thought Connor Brown would be, or do you wait? Does Connor Brown hopefully come around? Like, I was looking. at He some, better come around. He needs to come around. <laughs> Three point two two five million dollar penalty on the cap next year. Like that's, I, I, it's stunning that he played that tenth game. Stunning. I love it. Yeah, because would the Golden Knights or a team like them have just? cut bait do you think and cause... put him on waivers and send him to the minors unless someone claims him no one's claiming him and He's... then what you do is if you're like the Oilers now have clearly back in the playoff hunt this wasn't the case at that 10 game mark yeah but to me it was you wait to see if maybe in january if he's playing well in bakersfield you give him that shot he's your michael pekka but if he turns out that way then it'll work out yeah because pekka ended up being well he was a solid 
defensive player but for he the had team a during the regular, regular season. season. Well, he was good defensively. Offensively, sure. he didn't do anything. Well, what, but what is Connor Brown doing right now defensively right now? He's good on the PK. The PK has yeah. been excellent. It's not worth the 3.25 penalty I agree with you on that. But what if Connor Brown scores a mega goal? In the playoffs? Yeah. Hey, if the Oilers go in a Stanley Cup this year, no one will care. No one will care. Not a single person Money will care. Well no one will care with Jack Campbell. What no penalty? one will care about anything because they won a cup, especially if he scores a goal, some big goal in the playoffs. doesn't matter where in the playoffs, but he has the uh, David DeHarnay OT goal type thing. People will be thrilled. Great reference. Sports are always about stories and journeys, right? Yep. What if Jack Campbell interjects himself back into the Oilers be and becomes our savior in goal? Wouldn't that make for a... Hollywood I that ending. that was going to happen last year. You know, and then it... Was, I'm just yeah. trying to say... But Jordan Bennington great. coming up from the AHL to... Now, right. he was an AHL goalie at the time, not an NHL. Like that got a $5 million contract. <laughs> right. yeah. But he comes... Maybe Jack Campbell in January, also, and Stuart Skinner needs a couple games or something happening. And right. Jack Campbell comes up and he goes, I got this, boys. Wouldn't and be boom. Exciting? Moves on from there. <laughs> Uh-oh. Jason and LaDuc. Via the Paris Jewelers inbox, 780-218-9999. The Oilers are not losing because of Connor Brown, idiots. <laughs> oh. It's no. not. Oh. Jason, it was really, he came at me hard yesterday. He doesn't like me on the Jason's show. Jason's feisty. Here's Usually the thing. It's not, not, losing oh, at all. It's not about Connor Brown yeah. why the Oilers lost her this season. No, no, no. The We're issue is the 3.25 next season is like the, the cap's going up $4 million, but for yes. the Oilers, it's going up $750,000. Yes. Because you have this Connor Brown penalty. Oh, my God. It's long-term looking where this team is going. There's been cap issues for a number of years with this team. And now they're willingly this year made sure that the cap issues remain next year. Yeah. That's the problem. It's not this year no, that they're I, losing. Well, but also I'm just laughing. if they he keep losing. Threw in there at the end, <laughs> if they do keep That's losing, okay. if like you bring up, does dry settle need a better winger or something? Well, there's a part to that. Like, Vander Kane's nicked you know? up. We got to keep that in mind too. Yeah. And then Connor Brown's just had a crappy twenty-one games. We're getting to, uh, asks for more socks and uh, you know retail furniture you store. Well, socks? I gotta. Oh, I, yeah, oh, I, I got the, something I got to bring up with you, Jay. What's up, dog? <laughs> you ready for tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Yeah, what? I'm serious? What is uh, tomorrow? I'm very disappointed in you right now. Hang on. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Bring it on. I was born ready. College bowl season begins. Oh, yeah, yeah. What yeah, are yeah. you? Like, how do hey, you? Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, no, no, no. You have so stop. many games tomorrow. You didn't you invite me. To what? I'm not inviting anyone to anything. I was, I, I was, cro I was in a crossfire of texts. Oh, damn. There's no invite. Like, there's no watching and of the games or anything like that. No, I know. But I thought we were going to make picks. Would you like to make picks today? Because we can. I'm, I'm, see, I'm busy. Tomorrow. I'm making picks with Lucas tomorrow. Yeah. In person. Uh, Lucas's buddy has given him his picks. I'll put in picks if and you would like them. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'd love I'll, to be involved. I'll, 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 you get us picks by tomorrow. I'll get you picks today. Cool. How's that? But are you ready for bowl season? I love bowl season. Isn't it great? <sighs> it's the best time of the year. It starts Christmas, at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Christmas and everything. And I mean, even tomorrow there's a double header or triple header in the NFL. Bowl Damn. season starts. Golly, what a time to be alive. I know. I really mean that. We I got love the it. avocados from Mexico bowl game tomorrow. Can't wait. I got to get my NFL picks in for my little. I got to pick 10. But my well, there's is, three games tomorrow. Ten, I got to pick 10 teams to win straight up and get, you know, as many right as I can. Do you guys want to help? Each me? week? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, let's go let's do it. it. What's the weekend looking like? That's a good question. And I just realized that because there's Saturday games, I got to get the. Okay, yeah, I, I think the Raiders are going to beat the Chargers. Cool. No really new coach bump. That's a that's a big bold prediction. <laughs> big big in the bold. You, you you ready for that? Aiden O'Connell's gonna go off. I'm in. You know, that's a <laughs> if that happens, I'll like, full credit, Jay. Full credit. It's weird. It's um, weird. Like it's hard to pick. Like even straight up, you think like usually you get about seven. Like it's hard yeah. to get not. Like you need nine to win usually. Like it, it's not easy. Yeah, pick an upset or two. You're not. You're one. not playing against the spread. This is straight up. Is straight okay, up. so Vikings Bengals is a game. Where, and I don't one. like that, by the way. I don't like that it's not against the spread. But the spread changes throughout How many the week. So yeah, it's, hard, it's hard to, to set it. Four, five, yeah. six, Where seven, is it? At eight, Bengals nine, or 10, at 11, Vikings? 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's 15 games the rest of this weekend. I, I okay. guess I shouldn't have done that. But Bengals hosting the Vikings is one game. you got Steelers against the Colts in Indy. Bengals, Colts. We only have to pick 10. I know. I like the Bengals, Lions, to Lions back. Colts. hosting the Broncos. I like the Lions. Lions. 
Ravens, Jags. Did you guys lock in the lines? Ravens, yeah. I, I would make that your first better. one. I'd leave that to yeah, the I would that's still. A, that's think a, that's a, a, Broncos have been pretty good. good. Broncos are coming yeah, on. They have been Jets, good. Dolphins, Dolphins. Dolphins. That's an easy one. Yeah. yeah. I'd lock that in. Dolphins. Texans, Titans. Texans. Is CJ Stroud healthy? Doesn't matter. He got banged up last it, week, right? Yeah, yeah, that's like, I could see the Titans having the letdown after yeah. the win this week Doesn't against matter. the Dolphins. Texans. Bucks, Packers. There's a lot of evenly matchups this weekend. Bucks. Giants in New Orleans. New Orleans. Panthers hosting the Falcons. I'd take the Falcons. What a dog yeah. game. Browns hosting the Bears. Bears. I'd take the Bears. Patriots hosting the Chiefs. Give me the Chiefs. Chiefs. 49ers, Cardinals. 49ers. What? I'm kidding. Commanders, kidding. Rams. Anybody but the Commanders. I think the Rams. They had a tough loss last week to my Ravens, so that would be a tough one. Bills, Cowboys. Cowboys. And then Eagles, Seahawks in Seattle. Eagles. Eagles. What are you thinking? Jeremy? I might take back my Cowboys pick. That's going to be a hell of a game. I, I think I the, left that one off. Yeah. I don't know. Buffalo Other than that, I think I nailed them. KC. Wow, the, but I think the Bills are the favorite in that one. Yeah, they are minus two and a half. I would take the Cowboys. Is it in Dallas or in Buffalo? In Buffalo. Oh, I know. Bills, but, Bills, Bills. Yeah. Like Dolphins, Jets is the easy one. If there's no Trevor Lawrence, Ravens over the Jags. The should Chiefs happen. game is the easiest. The one. Chiefs. So there's and the Cards, 49ers. So 49ers. I think there's four right there. Yeah. I'll Ouch. take your Ravens. I, 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 that's only if Trevor Lawrence isn't playing. It doesn't matter. You got to make hobbled, sure, isn't he? I know, but very still, much so. he's a don't matter. animal. If Ravens he's not playing, it's good. Then it's I, I Falcons over Panthers. You like the Panthers? I didn't say the Panthers. I said no. it's a crummy game. I oh yeah, it. but like the I mean, Falcons should win. The that. Falcons need to. They're only three points. Somebody needs is. to win the the South. Texans, Titans. I haven't looked at that division. It's terrible. <laughs> six and seven, six and seven, six and seven, three way tie at the top of the NFC yeah. South. It's anybody's ball game. Jeez. But well, that's the chance for the Falcons to to separate themselves a little bit. Yeah, it's just an awful like, division. but there's a lot of like tomorrow, Vikings, Bengals, same record. Steelers, Colts, same record. Those are even games, and like those could go in different you ways. You know what? You know what? You, you got the what? backup bowl between the value, Vikings and the if Bengals. If you want value, Steelers might just take that. See, but he's not looking for mites. He's looking for that they're going to win. That's a uh, who's the third game tomorrow? Broncos Lions. It's a good slate. Wow, what a day to work. Do you think Bucks over Packers? Yep. Really? Hmm. Let down. Packers at home. Let down. Let down from what? From their big game the other night against the Giants. Yeah. No, no offense. There's no letdown against the Giants right now. I don't know. I just thought it was an exhausting game for them. I like Baker Mayfield. He's got moxie. Bengals over Vikings? Maybe that'll be my 10th. That's your boy, or that's Lucas's boy. Quarterback from Washington. Lucas's boy? John. He's playing at, uh, he's the starting quarterback for the Bengals right now. All right, I got my 10. He's yeah, but his, bra- his Bears Give taking on the Brownies. Okay, all right, with Cincinnati... So over the Minnesota. Detroit over Denver, even though Denver's looking good. I don't know what order these start in. KC. Over Pats. Book it. Miami. Over Jets. New Orleans over Giants. Uh, against my Giants. Saints have the Giants. Bears. Browns. Going with your pick, Jay. Yeah. And these are easy. 49ers. Going with yeah, your Ravens. Over the Cardinals. Ravens over the Jags. Rams. Over the Commanders. And Eagles over Seahawks. Like, I got to get 10 out of 10. I think I, I think there's wish. a good eight. Yeah, there's I think there's luck. a good minimum eight. Uh, this could be a five winner. And that's what I got to pick my If you get like eight, this nine, or 10 picks, one. you're welcome. If it's anything less, it's all Jay's fault. What a slate of games. Good point. Like, you said it best. Th- those are even games. Those are like, there's no... Like, Except for the There's Niners. a couple of those, the Niners and the Chiefs game. There's a couple big ones, but... For the most part, it's well balanced that we should have some close games, you would think. Add that with college bowl season. Commanders are coming off a bye. Let's just factor that in. Was there a bye last week? Yeah. They Cardinals had a bye too. Seriously? Yeah. It's not gonna matter. No, I <laughs> know. I really have no faith in How that. are you in this pool? I've won one week so far. So it's like is it a lot of overall racket? Or well, it's just you, you get, win you get per money week. Money for that week. Basically. Oh nice. So But did you get your money back? 
Are I you think even? We need to win at least one and a half weeks, i.e., tie somebody. We're chasing that half right now. So we're chasing we want that half sack. We're half chasers. That we want that sack. We want those half sacks. Sack count. Chasing sacks. Yeah, just today. put your sack we'll on the done. table. We're going to. We just got to get one more in. You gotta sack, 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 sack. It goes to tiebreakers if there's ties. So you have to submit to, like, who, like, it's margin of victory. So I submitted Miami wins by 10. So if somebody. Oh, uh, you got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. Like, point spread. Yeah, exactly. Or point total. So, so you have close. Miami by 10. Yeah, that's my a good first one. tiebreaker. That's a so good one. So if Miami loses, I'm screwed, basically. They um, should. Like, they just had their loss against the Titans. And then I got my yeah, second yeah, tiebreaker. This Rams, is a chance. Rams by seven. Ooh. Over my commanders? Yeah. I think the spread is six and a half. It's six and a half. Commanders having to travel across the country. Against the spread, I'd take the commanders straight up. I think you're right. The Rams, like, they, they. Should have beat the Ravens. They were good in that game. That game was all over the place. Rams it was by changed, six. So. Changing it. So, Commanders cover the spread. I think they Rams will. winning by a touchdown? It's not bad. I, guess. I like that. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. I'll let you guys know how I do. I'm guessing. Please do. It's only <laughs> only if we did well. Yeah. If we do poorly, we're good. We don't need yeah. to know. The, the silence yeah. will be enough yeah. for us. It'll be deafening. <laughs> yeah. Man, Jay, you and I really you screwed this one up for Dan. For He's never coming back to the yeah. hangout ever Can again. Can we put the uh, hangout parlay on Cool Bet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, let's just take these eight teams. Where's Patty Gray? Quick question. Um, uh, UCLA, Boise State tomorrow. We'll go with that one. Beautiful. Boise State. Oh, I took UCLA on the spread, minus four. Got a slate of action tomorrow. That's the LA Bowl. Love anyone interested. Um, is that the avocados from Mexico? No, that's a different one. I like the, love the Cheese It Bowl is gone. Now, uh, right? That was the Starco Brands LA Bowl. The Avocados from Mexico Cure Bowl has Appalachian State taking on Miami, Ohio. The Cheese It Bowl is gone. Yeah. That is now the Pop Tart Bowl. Of course. Which has yeah. the edible mascot yep. that the winning team will eat. Oh. Dusty. Yeah. How big eat is your heart thing? out. <laughs> it's like, I want to. There's a lot That's of questions. That's a cover thing, right? Yeah. Or oh. the, the mascot. The, the Pop Tarts. Yeah. yeah it's which, edible. And it's in Orlando, the game. So like I think my kid's gonna hot. sit outside. Maybe a little human. I don't know how they're the winning. It this. is edible, and the winning team can eat it. So I'm very intrigued by it. the yeah. cheese. It bowl is great because they'd open up boxes of cheese and just pour it all yeah, over them. Cheese is great. Cheese is I know so it stays the, well. The pop tart one now. I'm very intrigued just to see how this goes. Cheese it's are a great snack in my house because I'm amazing. the only one that likes. There's gonna be a lot of extra to Canada. Do you ever get the extra toasty? I don't think I've had extra baked. Cheese it's are great. Oilers win tomorrow. Yeah. That's yeah, going to be I a tough so. game. But. Revenge. Panthers revenge game. It was supposed to be that against the Lightning. I'm no. saying the Oilers are going to lose because of Connor Brown. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Loser. Jason, uh, Jason and LaDuke. Well thanks. Done. Uh, that was the ESD hangover for today. Dan, what? thanks for coming in. We really appreciate it. No, hopefully I'll have you back. And yeah, yeah, that's yeah awesome. Thanks you for having me. Enjoyed guys. the beer. Yeah, thanks for like, the beer. Yeah, it's awesome. So used uh, mattresses are a thing. <laughs> yeah, we've got that. You can return almost everything to Costco. Yeah, and uh, lifetime you, warranty does you be not safe necessarily. Out there. Wear your socks at home. You could be fired. Don't <laughs> yeah, wear socks at, Le- at Leon's. <laughs> the, the poll is <laughs> crushing me. I'm, oh, I'm in. The, I'm like you. I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, it is the lock show with Dusty and Haas at noon. Tommy's back with the oil stream. Him and Nielsen will get you set for tomorrow's game and recap yesterday. On behalf of Tom, Glue Guy, Dan, I'm Matt. Thanks for tuning in to the EST Hangout on this Friday. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll chat with you on Monday.